All right. Uh, so I guess now you understand what the plan was. Absolutely. At Colts Law, we talk Indianapolis Colts football. We're going to stick to what we know, fundamentals and technique, 1% better every day. What's going on, Colts Nation? I'm Lawrence Owen. With me, as usual, is my guy, Booyah, Loyalist. And today, we have a hell of a game that we're going to be bringing to you as we react live to the Indianapolis Colts traveling to the snowy state of Minnesota and taking on them pesky Vikings. Oh, my goodness. What an offense versus what a defense. And I think this could be one of the better games uh, of today, even though, you know, it's, you know, kind of posted as, oh, this is going to be a blowout by the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> I think this is going to be a more interesting game than what most people think. What's up with you, Loyalist? How are you doing? And your initial thoughts. I am great, guys. I'll tell you what, I, <laughs> I come in here today and put in some music this morning, getting up, just feeling better, thank goodness. And like you said, man, football just makes me get excited. And, and the thing is, is, you do really expect this to be a good comp competitive game and stuff because you, you look at how these teams match up and stuff. And that's right now, that's really give me good football. Give me four quarters of good football, not three, not three and a half. Give me four solid quarters. And let's just see where the things, you know, fall at the end of things. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I don't want to see three quarters of good football or three and a half quarters of good football. I mean, that's what we've been used to all year by the Indianapolis Colts, at least by the defense, you know, and, and, and offensively we're lucky to get a half of good football out of them. Uh, but this could be an interesting matchup as the Minnesota Vikings have the worst defense in football, giving up more air yards per game, more total yards per game, and more points per game than any other team in the NFL. Could this be a game where the Indianapolis Colts offense might actually find a little bit of breathing room and do what they actually have planned on doing all year long? Absolutely. All we got to do is protect that ball, treat that ball with the respect that, you know, NFL teams should, not what we've been doing this year. And then also Matt Ryan's got to start cleaning things up a little bit. You know, his offensive line is it's getting better. It's giving them a little more time. So I know I understand the being gun shy from early season and stuff, but this team is playing better. Let's let's take that and use that to our advantage and get this ball moving up and down the field today. Absolutely. Let's talk about the inactives that's coming into this game as the Indianapolis Colts uh, walk into this game with three guys immediately gone. All right. Inactive out of this game. And ooh, wrong one. I'm sorry, I clicked the wrong one. Uh, I'll, I'll actually but, let me get to the Vikings one first, okay? Uh, and then I'll talk about the Colts. So the Vikings, they have five guys on their inactive. That's it. Uh, Perry Nickerson, Patrick Jones, the linebacker who was, and I expected it. Like I said, you know, I mean, it, it, his sickness started yesterday. Uh, so obviously, most like if it was anything like the Colts, he was not playing today. Uh, Ross Blacklock is not going to be playing. Kalen Barnes, the cornerback, won't be playing. But the big news is the guy at center, the starter, Garrett Bradbury, will be missing today. How big is that loss for the Minnesota Vikings? We have to make, as far as the Colts go, we have to make that huge because that's what we need. You know, we need Grover and Defoe to really, because not to mention Bradbury missing, but then you also look at right guard and the rookie who's been <coughs> struggling this year. So they really need to sit there and put tons of pressure on the middle of that defense, not let Dalvin Cook get things rolling. Because as we discussed yesterday in our live stream, you cannot let this, Vikings offense be to you know double threat you know they you've got to either contain them to just the ground or just the air and you know so for me I'm, I'm like hey take Dalvin Cook out of the scheme let Grover Defoe and the backers take him out and then also let's put a ton of pressure on Kirk Cousins up the middle and and then like I said guys those things happen along with taking care of the ball and stuff Colts should, should Colts should at least find themselves in a really good battle at the end of things 
Now, defensively, the Indianapolis Colts, like I said, are missing some big pieces. Now, uh, we already knew from yesterday that we're going to have uh, some guys not playing today, like Mike Strawn, uh, Kenny Moore, and Brandon Faison, right? We knew those threes weren't playing. The rest of the inactives today has been Banigou and Sam Ellinger, Wesley French, and Chris Williams. With these inactives, who needs to step up? I mean, honestly, this, you know, you, you look at Quiddy Pay, he's back out there, you know, from the ankle and stuff. I'd love to see Quiddy Pay get out there and really, you know, take advantage and, and build off of where he, you know, it's been one of those seasons, you know, he starts getting things going and then boom, drops off a little bit because of an injury and then gets things going. Let's get back on track here. You know, I mean, I know Grover and Defoe should have the better matchup as far as success rate. You know, but man, I'm telling you right now, if Quiddy can sit there and do, you know, along with what Yannick has been doing the last couple of weeks, and because you do not want to give this Vikings receiving core too much time because they will dissect you. And Kirk Cousins will find these guys. I mean, I think he's only thrown like nine interceptions all year, which is uncharacter uncharacteristically positive for him. So the thing is, is this defense, let's let's get tons of pressure on them and, and make them, you know, come out of the norm. Because last week, you know, with the Lions, you know, it was Dallin Cook putting the ball on the ground a couple times. This week, I think if you can sit there and put that pressure with Defoe and Grover up the middle, Quiddy come out here. And like I said, Kirk Cousins will give it up historically. Absolutely. Speed, what's up? Appreciate you being in here. Happy Saturday so far. Absolutely. Now, when the game gets in, we'll see how that rolls. But um, I'm I'm excited and I'm very positive in this situation. Dion is expecting Matt to throw 300 plus and four tugs. Wow, I tell you right now, along with zero interceptions, I love that stat line. I would be down for that, but I just I got to see it happen. You know what I mean? I just got to see it happen because this offense has found ways, and it's like let's stop that today. Let's just play clean football. No stupid penalties that derail us. And let's protect the ball. And I'm telling you right now, if those say, if that happens, this team, not only will they be competitive, I think they'll have a good chance to winning this. Absolutely. Now, I know there's a lot of people out here that feel a lot like Brandon here, B ball. Uh, you know, don't know whether to root for a win or a loss. Quite frankly, I never root for a loss. If it happens, it happens. I always root for my team to win, just like the players and coaches go out there to play to win. They never go out there with the mindset, let's lose this game. Um, even, you know, because let's, let's face it, you know, those players and coaches may not even be here on the team when the draft comes next year. So why would they be interested in getting a high draft pick? There's just no way. And mathematically, we're still in the playoff hunt. Um, and if we could just get turnovers and you know pass protection fixed or at least at a decent clip a level at, at decency getting into the playoffs could be a good thing oh yeah i mean and the thing is i've come to the because i, I understand where b-ball is coming from you know i am looking at the the draft capital and i do really want to get a long-term answer at this quarterback position so but the thing is i've come to the conclusion me personally i'm going to root for the win if they lose it just won't hurt as bad as it would week one through week 12, you know what I mean? But the thing is, is I'm, I, I, I really want, like you said, these guys to go out there and put the good film on, you know, let's, let's be competitive. Let's sit there. And, and I understand that with the loss of draft capital, it makes it harder to solve those problems, but we'll solve them. You know what I mean? Chris Bowd or whoever's making those calls, we'll solve them whenever that's time. You know, remember how Chris said, you know, to Kenny Moore's situation, it's like, now it's time to play football. That's what game day is. It's time to play football. Worry about all that other stuff after the season's over. Agreed. 100%. All right, guys. Um, now that we're sitting here, I just want to let everybody know, hey, um, we will be doing a live game reaction. If you would like to watch the exact same stream, that we are watching, that we are reacting to, so you don't have a chance to throw spoilers out because we really don't like spoilers. We like to be able to react honestly and not happen to look over at the chat and go, oh, great, an interception. So basically, 
if you want to watch that same stream, feel free. Join us right here on our uh, my Discord and go to the live game reaction voice chat. Make sure that you mute yourself if you're not going to be interacting with the other people in the chat. Those of us, uh, there are a lot of people in there that have the, the noise on. So, uh, also, Brandon, guys, real, real quick, let's, let's make sure you hit that like button. Look, we're we're 10 minutes into this thing. We're going to have kickoff here in about 15, 20 minutes. So please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Make sure you ring that notification bell. That way you guys are notified the next time that we go live. And then also, if you can, before kickoff and stuff, share this stream. Let everybody know that we're out here. And, and this is a – honestly, I think this is going to be an amazing game, and this would be a great time for us all to, to enjoy it together. Absolutely. Um, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens in this game. Now that the game uh, – the pregame is up, Brandon's got it up. Appreciate you, my guy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um don't forget to smash that like button again. Uh, that will help get this stream out to more people. And of course, if you would like to help donate to the channel to help keep us going, especially now that it's the holidays, uh, it, it would be awesome for us to continue to be able to do this. Uh, you can feel free. Use the link in the description at the top of the description for uh, donations on that tip jar. Um, it's just like a super chat. And, you know, that actually about 94% of that actually comes to me rather than, you know, what YouTube does at about 55% or something like that. So, um, this, the over under in this game, I can't remember. It's like 47. Yeah. I think 47. Yeah. What do you think? Is it going over or is it going under? If the Colts win for the Colts to win this game, we, we need it to be real close to hitting the under. OK, you don't have to be honest with you, because the less pressure you have to put on this offense, <laughs> the better. You know, what I mean, this defense is going to need to find a way to really capitalize on some negative plays from the Vikings. I 46 and a half, Brandon says, appreciate it, bro. But, uh, you know, like I said, for me, I want to believe in the ender. <laughs> I want to believe, you know, but that's. I, that's why I don't bet. I, in Vegas, they they really do have it for me, like right at that right at that ideal number range and stuff. So, either way, like I said, I don't know because I could see this also turning out to where JT, you know, we get a little bit of a lead and JT is able to go out and really capitalize on chewing this clock up. But yeah, I, I, if I'm rooting for the Colts to win, I'm rooting for the under. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I'm actually uh, on the reverse side of that. Uh, I feel like the Colts should would need the over to win this game with a terrible pass defense. Matt Ryan needs to have a good game, mm -hmm. and if Matt Ryan is throwing the football well, that means we're probably you know in no turnovers means points on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, I love our defense, but I don't see our defense holding the Vikings to under twenty points. Uh, I really don't. I, I, maybe 17 at the least, you know? Sure. Um, so I, I feel like the Colts need to have 24 at minimum just to win this game, you know, uh, mm -hmm. offensively. So uh, 24, if it's a, you know, 24, 23 game, that's 47 right there, you know? Yeah. So yeah, you know, that's, that's how I look at it. I, I expect the Colts, I think the Colts need to uh, legitimately score at least 28 to win this game, though. Uh, and against this defense, it's prime opportunity to do so. They just can't turn the football over. Yeah, that's right. And, and it's not just Matt Ryan when we say, you know, Matt Ryan, Jonathan Taylor, the receivers catching the ball, you know, we've just got to protect it. And defense, while you're at it, if you can go out there and get one in our favor or two in our favor – We'd appreciate it <laughs> very much. I can't remember the last game the Indianapolis Colts won the turnover battle. Oh, man. In a I game. Mean, yeah. <laughs> I know it. Yes. And it's like that. Is, you remember last year, that was every, every game. game. Yeah. Every game it seemed like, you know. So what a, what a difference a year makes. You know what I mean? What a crazy year this has been. Absolutely. I 100% I agree. It, it's been a, a frustrating year. Uh, for mm -hmm. Colts fans, right? Uh, even week five, week six, there was a lot of us that was like, you know what? 
there's still a lot of hope left. You know, we've seen this team start slow and then find a way to 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 bounce back. And the team has not bounced back yet. And it's a little late in the season to be trying to do so. But, I mean, it's still possible. I mean, if there's any time to go on a really big-time hot streak, December's the time to do it. <laughs> Basil says, I think the Jags game was the only one where we led the turnover. And that's the second Jags game, not the first one. <laughs> right? Nah, ain't that the truth? So, uh what else are we going to talk about here? Um, you talk about, tur- you know what? This is a game where I know Justin Jefferson is that dude mm-hmm. for the team. But I got a feeling that this is a game where the Colts are going to really try to take Justin Jefferson away. And it's what Adam Thielen and Dalvin Cook does. That yeah. ends up, you know, deciding how well this Minnesota Vikings play today. Yeah, and see, and that's why I was saying yesterday. I would honestly, and I, I more, I would like to sit there and see Gilly dominantly be on uh, on Adam Thielen. You know, throw multiple resources to Justin Jefferson. You know, what I mean, have a guy underneath and a guy over the top, and let Gilly <clears throat> do what Gilly does as far as eliminating, you know, uh, Adam Thielen. I mean. Guys, you know, everybody acts like he's he's non-existent because of this amazing year that Justin Jefferson's having. But that is not the case. The dude is still a very talented and and could go out and take over a game if if you don't eliminate him. And Absolutely. Then like I, and then with, with the Dalvin Cook, that I yeah, you know, like I said early in the, the show here, Grover, Defo, let's go out there and and really take this advantage you have and and blow a magnif- magnifying glass on it. You know what I mean? Let's let's really show how much Bradbury and that interior line missing, you know, struggling and stuff. And just, man, shut Dalvin down. Dalvin, if, if you keep – my goal or what I would like is keep Dalvin Cook under 50 yards and then try to keep Justin Jefferson 70. I, I get it. He's going to get, you know, 70, 75 yards. But if, if you keep him to that and maybe – zero or one touchdown. You know what I mean? They're going to get a little bit of production. They're going to, but you cannot let them take over the game. And the thing is, is you look at those guys and any one of those guys could do that if you don't really focus on them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is a game where I, I'd almost, I mean, I, I, I'm not for cheating. I'm not for cheating. But uh, if you had a can of WD-40 in this game, I would spray Jonathan <laughs> Taylor down with it. And then I would spray the hands of Justin Jefferson with it, uh, and and then you just pray for the best at that point, you know. Uh, well, the only problem is, is Jonathan's got that WD forty. He's going to be slipping and falling. <laughs> so put him, give him the stick of the remember the old stick of back in the seventies and the, <laughs> stick him on the hands and then spray <laughs> yeah. his body down with WD forty or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, movie, the movie replacements where he comes in, he just looks <laughs> he's like, like look like I just an elephant. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, this is going to be fun. I, I've been sitting here. I've been waiting really honestly. I've been waiting for this game for two weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, ever since the fourth quarter of the Cowboys ended, I, I looked, I was like, who are we playing next? <laughs> and then I was like, Oh yeah, we're going to lose the bye week. Okay. So <laughs> who's after that? <laughs> you know. So, um, but hopefully the Colts win this game. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I'm so tired of late in the game, especially like four minutes left in the game, hanging my head, knowing the game is over. Yeah. I I get what you're saying, but, man, the ones that have really hurt me are the ones where we're ahead, we're ahead, or we're really in it. And then, you know, like the, the Eagles game. And then you look at the Cowboys game up to the third quarter. Those are the ones. God, I, 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 I feel like – But know. those are the games that I feel like – Yeah, I get – you're like, we should have won that game. But mm-hmm. at the same time, you know, at least it was a good game all the way through, you know, <laughs> when, you know, right up until the end, it was still a good game. You know, yeah. uh, you still felt good about your defense, e- even though, you know, they gave or the Washington game, you know. OK, so you gave up a play, but it still looked good overall for the game. Yeah. But like the the Titans or the Cowboys game and, you know, five minutes left in the fourth quarter and you're just looking going. 
this is bullshit. Yeah. There, there's nothing we can do here, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, and, and that, that Cowboys game, I mean, I've never, like, okay, I remember back to last, was it last year with the Ravens where we, well, heck, the last couple years against the Ravens where we're, we're winning these games and stuff, and then we just see it slip away. That's what the Eagles game was. But this thing that happened two weeks ago with the Cowboys, I'm just like, I still haven't fully processed how in the world that this defense doing all, you know I mean? And and I get it. Matt Ryan and all the, here, take the ball. No, I don't want it. You, have, you know I mean? I get it. That puts a, t- but even then the guys have been stepping up. And honestly, I just felt like that was the first time I looked at the defense and just felt like they were just beaten down. They were just more, I mean, mentally, you know, and that's where I'm like, man, this bye week is so crucial. These guys, because first off, I know it sucks to sit there and have to chew on that game for two weeks, but it's also a burning flame that hopefully helps keep them a little more focused on those bye weeks. You know, keeps them, you know, doing just that little bit of extra work or whatever, you know, and, and stuff because, man, that's just got to be a, a – I know as a fan, I hated it. I hated – I mean, first off, I can't stand losing to the Cowboys, but to lose in that ridiculous fashion in the fourth quarter and, and then – to sit there and, and everything, you're like, you try to be hopeful, and then all of a sudden you look back at that. You know, and I, I feel like that's really even affecting me in this going into this game this week. It's like, I want to believe in this offense, I do, but then, oh, that fourth quarter, you know, and, I, and, 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 and this defense cannot come in with with that one foot in the grave mentality. You know what I mean? They really, oh, they won't. I, and I don't, I don't believe they will, but I'm just saying they cannot because. If that happens, then mm-hmm. book it. Yeah, you know, just... yeah. But here, here's the deal. Okay, so anytime there is hope for a playoff, which even as slim a margin as it is right now, <laughs> those guys are going to be out there playing their butts off to get extra games, extra tape on themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because I mean, let's face it. I, this is the game of the year for them. They uh, every game from here on out is the game of the year. No matter how many they win, you know it's the game of the year for them. Um, and if they win this game, awesome. Move on to the next. That's the next playoff game. Uh, I think that the Indianapolis Colts right now, obviously the Vikings are favored to win. I think by four, right? Something mm-hmm. of that nature. Yes, and. That says a lot to me because home field is three points. So they're saying the Vikings by one on a neutral field. What? That's crazy. <laughs> now is the kiss of death. The fact that Colin Cowart picked the Colts to win this game. Really? See, well, Colin, I think is the only one because I, everything I've seen, it's just been a, a sea of purple. Now, and, and you know, to your point earlier about, you know, everybody's predicting the Vikings, but I will give, there's a large collective group of people that believe that this will be a close game, uh, you know, that it'll fall within the, the Vegas three to four points. So that's something, you know, as far as I guess if you're looking for a moral victory. But, yeah, just sit there and think that the Colts are going to get just get blown out. I mean, I just with this defense, like you said, they're not going to come in and, and, you know, with that really to get blown out. They're going to have to come in one or two ways. They're going to have to come in already thinking this this is a done deal, which I don't believe. I mean, we haven't seen anything to that, you know, that's represented that. Or secondly, that, you know, Minnesota is just going to have to – Minnesota hasn't been blowing teams out of the water all year. You know, Minnesota has been winning a lot of one-score games. So for whatever you see these people putting, you know, 13, 14-point victory and stuff, it's just like – uh, I think your biases bleed through a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean, and I needed my bias just to, you know, give the Colts a W here because honestly, this is one of those games that I feel like if everything played out, it could easily be a coin flip. The only thing that scares me is the problem tackling CD Lamb two weeks ago. All right. And CD Lamb ran through our defense left and right. Okay. Mm-hmm. It seemed like no no one could arm tackle that dude. And that was a problem. And if you can't arm tackle C.D. Lamb, Justin Jefferson's going to have a day on you. So yeah. we got to find a way of, 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 
of fixing that issue. That's the issue on defense that I, I did not like last week was the, the absolutely atrocious tackling that I saw by the Indianapolis Colts defense last week. And, and that's something we don't normally see or talk about because the Colts defense tackling wise this year has been absolutely stellar. You know, it's just for some reason, you know, against the Cowboys, we couldn't tackle a dummy. Uh, <laughs> that, that that was a problem. And, and the thing was, was that was even prevalent in the first three quarters. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The defense would make plays to sort of erase that and stuff. And, and, and I guess, you know, I guess that's sort of an answer to what happened. And I know I keep talking about the Cowboys. I'm sorry, but. But to your point, if you do that with 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 the uh, you know Justin Jefferson or if you or TJ Hawkinson, I mean we haven't even mentioned him yet, you know. And, and if we can't sit there and shore up our end uh, the middle of the field and and make sure that as soon as they make the catches, you know, because that's what this defense is based on. When they make the catch, that's it. You know, you cannot sit there and let them get a bunch of yards after catch because whenever that happens, now all of a sudden less less plays in the drive and it's just you know. Then, then you're putting a ton of pressure on an offense that just hasn't proven that they can sustain that type of pressure throughout the season. Absolutely. And here's the thing, okay, With, on this Justin Jefferson thing, he's got 1,500 yards receiving so far mm-hmm. this year. He's on pace, in my opinion, to be in the conversation for MVP, all right? Because when it comes to being the as important to a team, as you know a player is i think justin jefferson's up there i understand this is a quarterback driven league and the mvp is pretty much best quarterback of the nfl award now but you know he's at that point right in my opinion and i don't want him to continue that today all right he needs 500 yards in the next four games to break 2,000 yards receiving four games 500 yards let's make it three games 450 yards. No. Okay. Keep up the 50 yards. Right. I was thinking 420, but okay. <laughs> but exactly. You know, I mean, you know, he's going to make some catches, but there again, you know, make make the catch. That's it. You cannot sit there and let him do the, you know, if it's these 50 50 balls and he's going up and making a ridiculous catch, make sure that you are at least still in contact with him. You know, I get it. You're going up to stop and, deflect the ball and stuff, but you've got to make sure you make that stop first. And always, if he looks back and looks like he's about to raise his hands, turn your damn head looking for the ball. (laughs) Okay? Turn your head, look for the better chance of making a play on the ball if you're looking at the ball. Because CD could put his hands here, and then you're going to reach over and he's going to be like, ha-ha, fake you out, the ball's coming this way. You know, and then (laughs) bam, you know, it's a reception. I've seen it. All right? And I agree with Brandon here. He says that uh, Justin Jefferson, op- uh, offensive player of the year, pretty much on a lock. And <laughs> as much, you know, I, I just I can't think of anybody else right now in the NFL that has done enough to sit there and and compete, even even compete, even be in the conversation. To be honest with you, real quick, guys. I know we've got it's one o'clock. We're about to go live, Lawrence. If you could drop that link for the Discord again. We'll have, uh, if you want to join us in our Discord, we got Brandon in there uh, streaming the game for us. If you would, please make sure you mute your mic if you don't want to be part of the conversation. You can still hear the game and watch the game and stuff. Just, you know, if if you're not part of the conversation, it's less background noise. And also, while you're at it, if you would, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Ring that bell. You guys got to ring that bell. You know how YouTube is. They don't always... They don't always want to let you know that we're out here and stuff. And then lastly, if you got can, share the stream, let people we know know that we're here on any of your other social media platforms. And that's how we talk about it. All right. Uh, I am currently looking at the game. I'm trying to adjust my screen here. There looks like they're getting fired up, ready for the game itself. This is, oh yeah, Josh Jacobs. You're right, Brandon. Josh Jacobs is having a a, a year right now. A year. I think he's mm. got like 1,500 yards rushing or something. I mean, he's got stupid. He's over five yards of care. He's doing what Jonathan Taylor did last year. Right yeah. Now. Except there again, you know, a lot of the 
a lot of the factor, you know, is how's your team doing? Mm-hmm. And, and and you look at that Vikings record and stuff, and that's not to mention that, you know, receivers have just – receivers just always seem to get a little more love than the running backs. Well, yeah, that is true. But I will say that the Vikings over the last four weeks have looked a lot better than the previous eight, right? I mean, you, a lot You mean better. the Raiders? Yeah, you that's mean, what I said, the Raiders. Yeah. The Vikings just lost to the freaking Lions, right? <laughs> Yeah. All right. So my bad. My bad, guys. Um well, I think I'm getting ready to watch this game. Uh when does when is it when's kickoff? Right now? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's here in the next couple minutes. Yep. Uh is the Colts getting the ball first? Well the camera like... camera's on Matt Ryan pretty heavily, so I'm thinking that's the case. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. Uh Oh, come on. Yes, he's going to break a 1,000 yards. He's got 800 and some, doesn't he? Uh, he, he could break a 1,000 yards this game. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> but I still want to see Matt Ryan at least get 250 if he's doing that. Right? Yep. I'm not saying get 1,000. I'm not saying get 1,000 yards in one game. I'm saying, you know, eclipse the 1,000-yard mark on the season. <laughs> After this game is over with, right? Brandon's not a fan of the skull chant, I don't think. <laughs> no, 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 he's not. All right, looks like they're getting ready to kick off. It's a, it's time. It's football time. It's Let's back go. two weeks off of football, and here comes the kickoff. Boom, and it goes deep down the right side of the field. We're going to take it out about a yard deep and gets out to the 15, 20, 25, gets to the edge, 30. Yeah. And he gets out by the 46-yard line. What a return by Brandon Flowers. That's two returns in the last two games that he took it and looked good. Oh, my goodness. Nice start. You you cannot waste this opportunity starting at your own 46-yard line. Dallas Flowers just made this offense's job a lot easier on this first drive. Like you said, let's make it count for something now. Come on. Let's go, O. Under center, single setback, three receivers to the right. Pittman in motion, takes a snap. It's a reverse to Pittman. He's got room to run and blockers in front of him to the 40, all the way down to the 33-yard line. Hey. You think that bye week? You think that play wasn't drawn back up in the bye week? Going, hey, we ain't done this in a long while. A reverse with with Michael Pittman Jr. You know, I mean, that's that's more what you see Paris Campbell a lot of times. Nice job. Let's go. Wow, and the Colts already in field goal range. One play. Vikings fans going from skull to uh oh (laughs) real quick. (laughs) Empty backfield, shotgun, three receivers to the right, two to the left. Takes the snap down the left hash mark, steps back, steps Let back, it go. Up, and goes down. Mm, okay. Sack. Yeah. Ryman's going to have his hands full today. We knew that coming in. Uh, come on now. Let's go, Roke. Let's go. Yep. Brush Ryman that one got off. beat by Daniel Hunter. Yep. Now, brush that off. Let's get back on here, guys. Let's and get- to be fair, Ryan held that ball for three, four seconds. He yeah. He had time. Yep. He had time. Single setback to the left, split uh, three receivers to the right. Second down, 14, takes a snap, dumps it off. Donald Taylor with room to go, and he gets all the way to the 25, I believe. It's third down and like two. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's keep this change moving. Man, and seeing that what they did was they took advantage of that aggressiveness from Hunter. Good job. Great play call right there. Excellent play call. Wow. Slow, slow them guys screen. down with slow them guys down with the screen pass. Oh, it's th- it's third down and one. I'm sorry. He almost he reached out and damn near got that first down. Mm. Come on, keep it going, guys. Come on. Shotgun. Single setback. Tight for him. Nope. Now he's under center. Single setback. That's a reverse to do, and he's got the room. He's got the first down. He gets past the 20, and it's Colts. Mm. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. Getting a lot of this run game out on the edge. I like it. I like it. You know, uh, Well, we got all this speed. Why don't we <laughs> freaking use it? <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that. You had Moss in there leading the way. Between Moss and Pittman Jr., that's a good little group of guys to be following. Come Absolutely. 
First and 10 at the 19-yard line, under center, tight formation again, single setback. Man in motion is Pittman, takes a snap. That's a handoff. Taylor with his – that ain't Taylor. No, that's Moss. That's Moss. He picks up five. Second down and five right up the gut. Let's go, kids. Good start to this. Finish it off in the end zone. Finish this thing off. Why is Moss in there and not Taylor? This is early in the game. It don't make no sense to me. Taylor got a couple snaps, and then they put Moss in, so maybe it's just early rotation. Under center, single setback is Moss, tight formation again. Second down and five at the 14. That's another handoff. Moss is going to get hit in the backfield, lose a yard. Third down and six upcoming at the 15-yard line. Yeah. They brought a little extra pressure up the middle, and it just – ah! All right, come on, line. Got to give them a hole. Can't, Can't let them get hit in the backfield like that. Yeah, just looked like they brought one more than the offense had to protect with right now. Well, you know that they're going to pass the ball at this point. Third down and six. We're not running it unless it's a jet sweep or something. We got a bunch formation to the right, running back to the left, shotgun. Paris Campbell moves off, takes a snap. They send four. Matt steps up in the pocket. Dumps it. Nice pass right there over the middle. He turned back. Look back right at the wide receiver in the freaking zone for the first down. First and Great goal. play. First and goal, what, three yards to go or something yep. like that? Michael Pittman Jr. just kind of slid out to the open spot in the zone. And Ryan, who it looked like was going to run, uh, yeah. try to run for the first down. First oh, yeah. and goal at the four-yard line. Shotgun, three receivers to the right, running back to the left. Get it in That's there. Deion Jackson out there. He's right. going to throw it out the back of the end zone. Oh. It'll be second and goal. I hope they had somebody. <laughs> Didn't look like a lot of people over there. I hope there was somebody shorter or something. To... What's going on, Billy Taylor? Appreciate you being in here. Guys, if you Absolutely. haven't yet, please smash that like button. We got 52 of you in here. If you haven't done it yet, please do so. That way uh, uh, the analytics will help get this out to more people. Uh, first goal at the four, or second goal at the four-yard line. Um, Stack receivers to the right, single setback, handoff to the running back. He plows yeah. forward, gets to yeah. the one. Keep going. Wait, you're still Keep pushing. Going. I think he just fell in. That's a touchdown. No, nope, they blew the whistle. I they was afraid. They blew the whistle. Oh, yep. they blew yeah. the whistle. All right. All right. That's all right. Let's get they this blew thing the whistle dead at the one. It'll be third and goal. Do you QB sneak it here? Um, No, because it looks like they've got them about the one and a half, maybe the one. No, not yet. So Tell you what, yeah, guys. That's the one. Also, look in, in the description, you know, if you're interested. We have a Discord that you guys can get in there and watch with, with us. That way you won't be giving us any spoilers and stuff. And Colts that way we can all enjoy out. the game together. Colts just took a timeout. Apparently they're going to they're gonna go over this, you know. Yeah, get that get the, first touchdown on the mm-hmm. first drive of the game. That is like – a unicorn for this team. <laughs> yes, sir. And that's, and, and I don't mind this time out. Make sure you get the right play. Like you said, this is, you end up with three here or have to make a decision on going for it on fourth down. No, let's just, let's just punch this bad boy in right here. And does Brandon and, have Jonathan Taylor in fantasy? You think? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go. But I tell you right now, I agree with them. You know, get JT in there. They still got Moss. That Moss is still out there. Okay. Come on, guys. What are you dialing up for us? I don't know. Ten minutes left in the game. Third down. They go run right up to the line of scrimmage. That's a snap. Hand uh, off to the running back. Oh. He's hit the backfield. He spins out. Go down. Go down. Go down. Come on. Yeah. Field He's goal. hit. God dang it. Nine-yard loss. Come on. The Vikings defense came in ready for that crap. Colts are going to kick a field goal here. I would have faked that handoff and dumped it. They came in with a blitz on the edge. And there was nothing they could do about it. He made that first guy miss, which was amazing. Yeah. Yes, it was. All right. 26-yard field goal attempt from the 11-yard line down the left hash marks. Kick is up. It's good. Colts lead 3-0. 
And I am trying to figure this out too. Everybody in the chat right now is like, why isn't Jonathan Taylor out there? Why are we using Zach Moss? I do not know. This is ridiculous. Is he hurt? Did he get hurt reaching for that first down marker? Because we haven't seen him since that screenplay of uh, the second play of the game or third play of the uh, of the game. Yeah. All right, man, man. I mean, I know we, we came got, away with. I points. know. I knew you were gonna say. I know it's good that we got points, but. Uh, all right, guys, come when, on now. When it's second and one, yeah. Well, second, and when, when you go up to one, you you got to come away with the score. Yeah, but when you when you produce at such a high level, you know, you get a great return just to start the game off, and then JT, like you said, comes out and really, or uh, Michael Pittman Jr. comes out and really gets a good good first play to the drive, and then JT, you know, gets us out of that penalty trouble that we were or the sack trouble that we got into, and then to only come away with three, it's like. Gosh, because you know, you know, this offense or this defense is wouldn't mind having a seven point cushion instead of a three point cushion. I would have, I would have, I would have ran a quarterback sneak at that point. In all honesty, if Jonathan Taylor's not back there in the backfield, QB sneak it, have yeah. Zach Moss run up right behind me and push him, push him. You know, that's what I've done. That's how we got the on that one time was because of the extra push from the running back. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I. I I would have, me personally, I would have rather, you know, because like you said, they're going to sell out to that run. You know what I mean? And I would have much rather done a little bit of, you know, eye candy, you know, motion somebody over, draw attention. I understand you're, you're jumping to the line of scrimmage quick to, to catch them off guard, but we've been doing that now for four or five weeks that, you know, teams are, teams are more alert to it and more of, hey, watch for this. Also, why didn't we use – Moali Cox or Jelani Woods at that point. Yeah. First and goal or second and goal at the one yard line. Quick little, you know, out yeah, pass to a, one of them monster tight ends and bam. Exactly. Use your size. I mean, we've talked about it all year. You got receivers six three, six four. You got tight ends that are six much four. bigger. <laughs> much bigger. All right, defense. Now what we need is the defense to come out here and just really, really set the tone. The offense is yeah, the offense is giving a little bit of juice. Now let's get this defense to really set the tone for this game. Come on. I think that's the third time all year the Colts have scored in the first quarter and the second time they scored on the opening drive. And there's the kickoff. Yep. And it goes out the back. Wow, McLaughlin put it out the back of the end zone. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. well, he's been doing that a lot more here in the second half of the season. You know I mean? He, uh, he's found a couple extra yards there for, for sure. Definitely. All right, defense, come on. Get some pressure on him early. Oh, that's not good. Daniel what? Miller says that he was uh, favoring his shoulder and a staff member was talking to him on the sideline. Mm. Come on, guys. Come on. All right, under center, I formation. Takes a snap. Takes the handoff, steps yep. back, looks, throws. It's dumped off to the uh, – he's going to pick up six. Okay. Oh, and there's a flag on the play. That is Dalvin Cook for six, but we got a holding call, I think, on defense. defense. Damn it. It looked like Defoe was being held, too. That's hoping that that was what it was. Dang it. All right. Go, D. Automatic first down. We got Gilly. Gilmore, huh? Now look who he's on. Yes, sir. And it was yeah, not a lot there, but it was enough to call for holding. Gilly looked weird like he was on his heels early yeah. in that play. Yeah. That was a weird look. Shotgun. Single back formation to his left. Quick throw out to the sideline to the receiver. Justin is slammed out of bounds after a gain of four by Gilmore. He said, well, you know, you want to do it that way. Come on, <laughs> Come on now. Shotgun again, running back to the right. 
takes a snap, steps back into the pocket, looks, throws down the sideline. Nice. Almost intercepted. Oh. By oh, my goodness. That was a throw to Jefferson. Jefferson saved that pick right there because yeah, Gilmore he- had it. Jefferson reached out and slapped that ball away. Oh, they're, they're testing Gilmore, and Gilmore ain't having none of that shit. Yeah. I love when they, you sit there and watch the He receiver. cut in front of that. He was ready to take it to the house. The receiver's sitting there just chirping the whole way, and Gilly's mm-hmm. just walking back to the huddle. Yep. I might look over your way at the Jumbotron to see my great work again, but other than that, zip it. Shotgun, running back to the right, takes a snap, steps back. Looks, look at that oh, pressure. Blasted. Did you blasted. see that blasted. Pop? That middle of that pocket was just like, <laughs> he great. was absolutely blasted by Grover Stewart as he yes, released sir. that football. And that ball came nowhere near anybody when he threw that football. And the Colts force a punt. Yes, sir. And that is exactly what we needed. Once again, they didn't even get to the 40. Let's go, defense. Good job. See what we can do with the special teams. Ooh. They got it? Did they get it? They blocked yes, it! They it up and it's coming no. back for a touchdown! Oh I was just sitting here saying, Let's, yes! Special teams blocked the punt. Pick up by, is that JoJo Doman? That picked it? I uh, can't see. Caught it in midair and returned it for a touchdown. It was JoJo Doman. Grab the freaking block punt. Special teams has been absolutely astounding all year long. Who blocked that? That was a Fetty. A Fetty blocked it. Doman picked it up and he just went straight to the house. A Amazingly, Fetty. he was able to get it in bounds because it was right down the sideline. The Fetty came through so deep that he was literally behind the punter reaching back to block that punt. Yeah. Outstanding. Outstanding. And the Colts are up 10 nothing with eight minutes left in the first quarter. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's exactly. I mean, wow. Wow. Look Don't worry about that. it, offense. The defense and the special teams will, will take care I of it. I don't think we've ever seen a game, not a single game this year, where the offense, the defense, and the special teams, all three, played well back-to-back-to-back. Not like that. Offense went down, scored points. Defense uh, forced the punt. And then the special teams was like, we're going to put some points on the board. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Let's go. What a play. Guys. Appreciate you, RA. Thanks so much. Hey, guys, I want to let say if you are unable to watch this game or want to watch the same stream we are so that you don't, you know, so you could watch the game as we react, feel free. Check out the link in the dis- uh, in the in the live chat right now. I'm just dropping it for my Discord. Uh, just come in and join my Discord and then go into the live game reactions. And, you know, you can mute yourself if you want. That way, you know, you're not messing with people if you're not going to interact. But you can watch the same exact stream we are. Don't forget, if you haven't yet, please smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. And tag that notification bell so that you are notified next time we go live or upload a video. What's going on? What a start. What a daggone start. I mean, come on. Outside of the offense getting seven instead of three, there's nothing more you could ask for to start this game off. Now we just need to, well, yeah, I guess, I guess Taylor not being hurt would be another thing you could ask for, but that would be awesome. Yeah. But man, let's go. Let's go, Colts. Let's go. Man, tell you right now, this is. And this is one of those Colts games. And I'm not saying they won. I'm not trying to, you know, but this is the type of games that the Colts show up for. You know, and I wanted to say that, but I've said that a few times now where it's like, oh, well, it's outstanding. Outstanding. What's up, Decipher the Cypher? Merry Christmas, guys. Let's go. Thank you so much for the $20 YouTube Super Chat. 
Thank you so much, Decipher. Appreciate that a ton. Merry Christmas to you and everybody here watching the stream, especially the Colts fans or those of you rooting for the Colts. I know there's a lot of you that aren't Colts fans that are fans of other teams, but are in here rooting for the Colts, and we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Guys, if you want to donate to this channel, you could do exactly as uh, Cypher here did as a YouTube Super Chat, or you could use the link in the description of the video right at the top, the little donation link. It works the exact same way, and uh, we get more money out of it. But I appreciate the donation. Thank you so much, Cypher. And guess what? Another kick by McLaughlin goes out the backside of the end zone. When does JT's questionable to return from the game? They say it's his ankle again. I want to also pull this up. So Cody Telrod says, Vikings fan here. How pathetic of a start. I know. I understand what you're saying, brother, but I want to say thank you for being here. Appreciate yeah, appreciate you. you. Yep. All right. Under center, single setback. Tight formation. Jefferson in motion takes a snap, and yeah. it's a pitch yeah. out to oh, a cook. He's got blockers on. out. No. Front. He's gone 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. Tackled at the last second by – uh, wow. Rodney McLeod down to the 35 yard line. Wow. Our defense, our, they just, we overplayed. They capitalized big time. Man, they blocked that up perfectly, too. Watch 40 this. yard stretch toss play. A 40 yard stretch. That was a hold on the block out there on the edge. But oh well. Oh. Under center, single setback, tight formation again. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Hand off right up the gut. Cook, nice little cut up the middle to avoid a tackle. Oh, it's a yes. fumble! Go! Right. Turnover here! Yeah, yes. Another turnover. I go say down. it's got the go ball. Down. It takes go it back down. to go the down. 34-yard line. The ball was stripped out of his hands. Wow. Wow! One bad play on, on defense, and then you just wipe it away right here. Who is this? Zaire? Yep. Zaire got his left hand on it, and then all of a sudden, Isaiah Rogers Sr. is like... And his the... knees were not down. No, he was on top of Julian. Yep. Woo! All right! Wow. Let's go, Colts. Wick. <laughs> now, this is obviously going to be reviewed, right? Yeah, but that's... Um, that's I, I but think from, that's from my initial <laughs> look, it looks like it's a legit fumble. Cody says he cost us against Detroit fumbling on yeah. the goal line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, trust us. As Colts fans, we understand your dilemma. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've been there all damn year. Okay. Yeah. So this is kind of a, a flip, you know, for us. I was like, you know, if we can win this turnover battle, which, you know, we've only done once all damn year, and we won that game. But other than that, we haven't won the turnover battle yet this year. And so far, we have that it's nice to see that we're winning this one. Yeah. Man, I keep your foot on the gas here, guys. Keep your foot on the gas offense. We'll sit there and just wow. I mean, wow. You know, they like I said, they sat there and Zaire I mean, earned me an Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you know, uh they sat there and crushed us on that that you know, misdirection play over the left side. And then it was literally just erased all the very next play. Guys, I'll tell you right now, I know it's early, but what a great start to this game. What a great start. Can't ask for anything more. Come on. Come on. If we can just replicate this throughout. Oof. No, this game is still way early. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I'm, that's where I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to be happy about what's going on, but not. Put mm -hmm. the cart before the horse type of thing. No, we just our defense our, our our team gave up 33 points to the Cowboys two weeks ago in the fourth quarter. Uh I, no. you, you didn't have to go that far to bring me back. <laughs> what are you doing, man? That wasn't necessary. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. Wow. Never. I mean, this is yeah. Thank you, Sierra. <laughs> Best start all year long. All year long, and, and and it ain't even close. I mean, it's not even close. Wow, let's go. Let's keep it going, though, guys. Let's keep it going. All right. Defense defense needed this turnover just to be able to get back off the field and catch their breath with that pump block and everything. Yep. 
You now they're showing the punt block right there and return for a touchdown. Guys, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that like button. Help with the YouTube analytics. Get more people in here. Appreciate you. God, I love watching this. Come on. You know, it's not, there's not, it's been few and far between where I've been able to sit here and have a smile on my face. I formation for the Indianapolis Colts quarterback under center. Don't say that very often at the 34 yard line. He's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage. He's going to pick up a couple yards, maybe three. Was that Jackson? Look, yeah. That's Dion. Yeah. All right. Come on now. Let's keep this thing going guys. Let's keep. Yeah. He's walking pretty slowly on that end. <clears throat> Dang it. I think he's going back to the locker room right now. Yeah. Both his ankles are taped up. Shotgun running back to the left. Split receivers. Need to get to the 44. That's a handoff to the running back. He oh, just plows forward. Picks up five. Deion Jackson with a great run right there. It's going to yes. be third and one. He got on Braden. He got on Braden Smith's hip and says, let's drive this train, my guy. Yeah, he go. did. There was three defenders there. Shotgun again. Uh, same look. Takes a snap. Handoff right up the gut. Dion First down. down. Yes. Dion, Dion went right off the tackle. Went right behind. Uh, Quentin Nelson is like, you know, when you need one yard, there's one offensive lineman I'd like to be running behind. And that's Quentin freaking Nelson. Right? Wow. <laughs> Remember how I said I'd like to get a lead and then be able to run the ball a little bit more? Already, Boom. I know. Boom! Here Six we go. minutes left in the first quarter, and we're just hey. running the football. Now I get to go, get to go back to what I like to watch. <laughs> Shotgun takes a snap, fakes the handoff. It's a throw over the middle, and go. look at that! Jelani the went to the Protect 30, the ball. 25, 20, yes. gets all the way down to the 15 yes. yard line. Jelani Woods with a big play downfield, and the Colts are moving the ball on offense. Who would have thunk? Wow. <laughs> Look at this, too. I mean, he just wide open. Nobody even around him. And I'm sorry, linebacker's not going to be able to catch up until he gets to some resistance and make some changes direction. Right. Good job, Rook. Good job, Rook. Let's First go. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. Shotgun. Uh, split receivers running back to the right. That's a handoff. Zach Moss gets to oh, the – look at that hole. Bouncing off people left and right. Picks up about four. It'll be second down and six upcoming. The tight ends did a real good <laughs> job of sealing that edge on that one. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Braden Smith's out there working, getting his money's worth today. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it going. Appreciate you all in here. Thank you so much. I know a lot of you are madder than hell. The Colts are actually moving the ball. Those of you that want, you know, high draft pick, but the Colts do not play to lose games. Shotgun running back to the right. Right wing formation, takes a snap, kind of low, picks it up, throws over the middle. That's a great pass right yes. there to Doolin, Doolin, all the way to the two-yard line. It's first and goal at the two. Yes. What a catch by Doolin. What a throw by Matt Ryan. That ball had some freaking zip on it. Yeah, he's able to set his feet and just drive that thing. Watch this. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. When he's able to step forward into a throw, he can put some zip on that football. It's when he can't step forward. That's when you know it's bad. Run the damn ball. Just quarterback sneak this shit. First and a goal from the one and a half. Come on, guys. Under center, single setback. Takes a snap. Oh, it's going to be a dump off the Dion touchdown. Wow. Dump off the Dion Jackson. Off to the right. There was no one to the right side of the field. Linebacker got, had no chance of catching Dion. We got in the damn end zone. Let's go. Wow. What a start to a game. And just like that, the Colts are up 16 nothing. That was a beautifully led pass right there by Bat Ryan, too. Mm -hmm. He led him, led Jackson so he could continue to run. Because if he'd have thrown it behind him or made Jackson have to turn around to, you know, behind him or something, the linebacker probably would have caught him. He might not have made the end zone. He led it out in front of him so he could reach out and continue running to catch that football. And the Colts are up 17 zip. That is a beautiful pass. Wow. And there's still what, like, Four minutes left or three, three of the quarter. I know. I mean, guys, <laughs> no, no, <sighs> I'm not going to jinx it. 
But wow. I told you, this is the worst defense in football. Yeah, the but the thing, the thing is, though, I mean, you know, really, <laughs> I mean, your special team set up the field goal. I mean, with that great return Our on the first one. defense is playing good. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You sit there and you get – I mean, this is just – Three, like you said, three phases of football coming together all at the same time. And and we have just missed that so much this year. So much this year. Yeah. Malicious, malicious is out here. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go. I mean, honestly, I'm just like, um, uh, I mean, I want to say <clears throat> things, but I'm just like, I don't want to overhype it because the Vikings have only had the ball for a minute 51. Mm. A minute 51. They do have 48 yards, but 35 of those yards mm-hmm. came from one damn play. That that toss sweep to Dalvin Cook. All right, guys. Keep it going. No, it'd be 8-8-1, eight, eight and one, video boss, but it's still possible. Yeah. I get you, though. Yeah, but let's don't do that. Let's just sit there and enjoy the points and the score. Exactly. <laughs> we haven't been able to get excited about a game <laughs> like this in four. We have never jumped out to a 17 nothing lead. No, we've not had a 17 All lead. year. Not even in the not in the first quarter, especially. You know what I mean? It's like Minnesota's just got to be This is the gone. most points we've scored, I think, in the first half of any game. See, I, 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 since we're already talking about it, that's what I was like, no, I didn't want to jinx it. But I'm like, guys, we don't hardly ever break 20. And we've already got 17 in the first quarter. It's right. like, man, let's just sit there and blow that <clears throat> 20 mark out of the water here and just, just, I mean, let's, oh, I don't know. Part of me wants to just sit there and just keep running this thing up because – this, you know, this Vikings can offense can score quickly if they need to. So let's not sit there and take our foot off the gas. Let's just keep driving this thing. This is fun. It's actually been fun. The Colts offense moving the ball very effectively. The defense is playing well. Uh, the 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 special teams already put points on the boards. Josh is already talking cheeseburgers. And here's another kick. Is he going to put that one out the back? Nope, he's going to take it two yards deep. He's going to get to the 10, the 15. He cuts back up center and Ooh, boom, he's it. blasted. Doman again just come in and just upended him on the return. At the 21 yard line. And that is where Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson, Dalvin Cook, and the rest of this Minnesota Vikings offense is going to square off with their third possession of the game against our Indianapolis Colts. Boy, let's come on. I didn't say what. I don't know. I mean, yeah, but I, okay. I didn't, but. I formation. Left wing formation is another toss sweep. There's a flag flag on the field. He's going to pick up three, but this is coming back. This is coming. That's a holding call. If a flag comes up that quick, that's either holding or encroachment. It's encroachment. Damn it. What the hell? Who was it on? Oh, wow. Fetty is like way over the neutral zone. Oh, my goodness. Fetty, you're not. Bro, how do you longer. not look at the football and be <laughs> like. Or just look. You couldn't see the football. That purple helmet that he, he could see was in his way. That's the second penalty already against this defense. Yeah. All right. Big. Tight formation under there center, single setback. Still left wing formation. Oh my goodness! Cousins got stepped on by his own offensive lineman and went down like a sack of potatoes. <clears throat> That's going to count as a sack. Grover. Ingram, <laughs> the right guard, stepped on his foot. But look, Grover just rocked him back there. Yeah, he did. Outstanding. Grover Stewart pushed him all back so fast that Cousins couldn't get his foot out from underneath of him. Shotgun running back to the right, second down and seven. Come on. Takes a snap, steps back, looks, throws over the middle. Oh, it's caught. He ain't getting the first down. Gosh darn it. Blackman was, 
I love how he, he looked like he was going to go for the intercept and then just secured the tackle whenever he, yeah, law, your, uh, your camera's out of whack, brother. Real bad. Oh, thank you. Third down and one upcoming. Magic. No, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Come All on, right. defense. Come okay. on, defense. All right. Under center, single setback. Man in motion. Takes a snap. It's a swing. Yeah. Bam! Yes. Stop yes. his ass. Talk about Eagle oh. and Zaire Franklin not having none of that shit on a jet sweep. They Set. read that play right off the bat. I love that. Set the edge. Look at this. Nice now, job. Betty pushed him out. No, that was Dio. Dio was made Dio. him. Yeah, Dio makes him drift out. And then, like you said, EJ and Zaire just come in and clean it up. Outstanding, guys. Forcing a punt. There's no way they're going for it at their own 30. Nice play. Yeah, it was Dio. Yep, you're right. They are going for it. Fourth and one at their own 30. Oh, no way. Tight Just... offset eye formation. Hey, he's getting hit in the backfield. Come on, oh defense. God, the Come on, defense. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. Defense like, said not today. I was like, not I was, today. I was in the middle of saying, oh, they're not going to snap. Yes, they are. <laughs> Let's go. That ranks right up there with the stupid punt thing we did 15 years ago. That, Why are you going for it at your own 25 in the first quarter? That's oh, just, my goodness. That was a desperation call, if you ask me. Like you said, I, I get it that you're down 17, but wow. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Colts take over in field goal range. <laughs> what in the world? I love it. <sighs> This team needs to have a bye week <laughs> every other week. Holy heavens. Wow. Defense out here putting the smack down. I said they could because this defense is that good. They you just did. had a flip. Okay. Shotgun takes a snap, steps back, looks. He's got a little bit. He's going to take off. He's going to run. Right. That's right. Yeah, okay. That's, he picks up some yards. Picks up a few yards. No sack right there. It looked like he was getting ready to draw it back. I'm like, no, he's right behind you. But then he just tucked it under and yep. got one or two. So uh, most, I said most points scored in the first quarter. Largest lead of the season, too. Yeah. Wow. All right. Second down and nine. He picked up. I thought he picked up two, but I guess it's only one. Let's go. Shotgun. Empty backfield. Three receivers to the left at the 30. Takes a snap. Needs to get to the 21. Quick pass over the middle. It's caught at the 16-yard yeah. line. And that's Michael Pittman Jr. moving the sticks, baby. So it is going into the second quarter because I don't think they'll take another snap. <clears throat> wow. This is – look at that stadium. Look at – I mean, I'm as shocked as you guys are. You know, I mean – I Wow. I, I, and that's the end of the first quarter. I need a moment. I got to refill my drink. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm going to step out for just a moment. You talk about how good it is for once to actually feel good about a game watching it while I'm gone. <laughs> I will be more than happy to do that. I mean, guys, tell, oh, hang on, I'll show that up there. I hit the wrong one there. Sorry. Got to get all my stuff back. Guys, I mean, are, you, are we not enjoying the heck out of this? I mean, what in the world? This Colts team has just showed up. It's like they got off the, the plane and was like, we got this. And, I mean, man, Minnesota, the Vikings, they've got to be going, what in the world is going on? I mean, look at this. Look at this. I mean, you sit there and you look at the, they got, what, one sack on Matt Ryan? Matt Ryan's playing really solid football, like you said. Like I said earlier, you know, it looked like he was going to throw it and give it up, but he didn't. I mean, he just tucked it in, took – instead of losing five on the sack, he ends up gaining a yard. I mean, the throws are looking crisp coming out of his hand when they need to be. And then, like I said, all three phases of this game, all three phases. I mean, we're used to seeing at least one of them, if not two of them. But to sit there and watch the offense, the defense, and the special teams all stepping up and making massive, massive momentum plays. 
I mean, what is what does that tell you? This Colts offense, this Colts team that has been struggling all year long has already got this Minnesota team who's been having their way with the league for the most part, desperate enough to sit there and go for it on fourth and short on their own, what, 32-yard line. I mean, wow, what an outstanding, outstanding way to start this game off. And like I said, that's one quarter. Now the thing is, is let's finish this thing – just quarter two, more of the same. Quarter three, more of the same. Quarter four, you know what? I want to have such a control of this game. The fourth quarter, you can sit there and say, okay, let's put some of this younger talent in. Let's let's sit Matt Ryan, let Nick Foles get some play. I mean, <laughs> I really want to do – I do. I just want to sit there and enjoy this ride as long as we can. This is amazing start to this game. Great job, am, Waltz. Great job. Absolutely. I am trying to find – that tweet that I had I, that I posted know. earlier. Yeah, there it is. Retweeting. There will be a lot of Colts fans. December 14th, there will be a lot of Colts <laughs> fans losing their shit when Indy beats the Vikings this Saturday. Because yeah. the all- matchup, they match up very well, personnel-wise and on tape. It's only one quarter, though. Let's just keep it going. Let's just keep it going. First They're and at- 10 at the 16-yard line. Under center, single setback. Three receivers to the right, uh, left. Takes the snap. That's a handoff to Dion. Dion's pushing right behind the line, and nice. he's going to pick up five nice. on the okay. run. And he's madder than hell because he got shoestring tackled. There was no one between him and the goal line. Yeah, that was the last, that was the last guy that had a shot at him. <laughs> wow. He, caught, he come up jumping madder than freaking hell. Come on, guys. Punch it in the end zone. Get it in the paint. This offensive line's getting good push. Second I down mean. and five at the 11-yard line. Takes a snap. Another handoff running back. He's just pushing downfield, down the middle of the field. He's going to be uh, hit short, though. He's only going to pick up two. It'll be third down and three upcoming. But the offensive line is getting – he went to the wrong hole because <laughs> that left side – Pushed their guys back 10 yards and pancaked them. All right, guys, keep it going. Keep it going. Get us the first down. And the thing is, is now this is playing into the Colts' strength. Now we got to run the ball and just keep driving. Let's keep it moving, guys. Come on. Shotgun running back to the right. Three receivers to the left. Takes a snap. It's a handoff, Mm -hmm. and he's not going to get there. He's going to get to the 10 and get stuck. All right. Hey, no turnover. Let's just just kick a field goal. We'll be up 20 to nothing. Yeah, we'll have 20 points just past the first quarter. Wow. And to be fair, we're moving the ball until we get inside the 10. Look like Fry's got, yeah. <clears throat> Fry's got a little whooped on that one, unfortunately. All right. Sorry, hey, right. I appreciate you, Scott. Thanks so much for being in here. It's nice to be able to actually get excited about a game. Here comes a field goal, 28-yard attempt, up and good. And the Colts take a 20 to nothing lead over the Minnesota Vikings with 13 minutes and seven seconds left in the first half. In the first half. This is just, I mean, Lawrence, I know you predicted that we could, but did you even, did you even see a start? The game's like not over yet. No, no, I said, did you even see a start like this, though? I did think that there was going to be a little, because we had a bye week, right? So our Mm -hmm. guys could get healthy, plus our coaches had time to uh, figure out what's going on, figure out plays, things of that nature. I knew our offense would be able to move the ball somewhat. I was more worried about our defense versus their offense. Mm -hmm. But so far, we're looking good all the way to damn around. Yeah. Yes, we are. I mean, I'm just so, so proud of these guys. And the thing is, you know, that's, that's, you know, as just a little, as the content creator guy, you're constantly hearing, you know, all this negativity and all this talk about tanking and everything, but it's so awesome to watch your team not listen and address all that stuff, you know, and just, you know, I mean, it's almost like two different universes right now. You, you sit there and you have what you're hearing and feeling and stuff, and then you have what the players are doing. It's just so proud of them. So proud of them. Let's Absolutely. just keep it going. Let's keep Guys, it going. 20 points in the freaking this point of the game. I mean. <laughs> we've scored 20 points for an entire game only three times all year. Isn't that, that's what I mean. It's just, it's insane. All and right, the, guys. 
uh, real quick, with 90 of you, please smash that like button and uh, go check out the merch shop. It's Christmas time, man. We got great merchandise. Come check out the Colts Law merch shop. New items added every week. All sorts of items, from clothing to cups to cozies to backpacks, hats, just miscellaneous items that you can get around the house, even phone covers. Just check it out. Let me know. Send me a message. Hey, is there something that I'm missing? Go feel free to ask. Have a good one. Well, I'm sorry. Here it is. We are now officially 20 to nothing. And as I said, you can't you, – hold on. Go ahead and you take over. Okay. Because- yeah, guys, i tell you right now, this is just uh- – this is fantastic, but I want to keep that that college football mentality. Let's just keep <laughs> let's just keep our foot on the gas. Let's sit there and not worry about running the score up, at least not early on. Okay, we got Chase is getting ready to kick the ball off. I'm I'm man, let's go. Just throw this thing in the end zone. Come on, guys, let's go. And here's the kickoff. And he Puts it three, two, two, three yards deep in the end zone. He's going to return it. He gets to the 20, uh, 21 before he's dropped down by, guess who? Rodney McLeod. <laughs> Look at this. My Look co-host. This. My other co-host. My bad. I have two co- I got three co-hosts, actually. On this show, obviously, I have my boy, Loyalist. And then for my Believe in Colts, I have Gerard Powers, former cornerback for the Indianapolis Colts, and... Current starting strong safety for the Indianapolis Colts, Rodney McLeod. You can check out our stuff all the time. Uh, here it is. Under center, I formation takes a snap. That's a handoff to Cook. He's got a big ass hole. He just gets he picks up about eight yards on that first run. You know, I, I didn't even think about it to be honest with you, but I like this. Trey says, no one can beat Saturday on Saturday. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, awesome. Come on. Second down and three. I'm going to say second down and two. Right wing formation move moves over, fakes it, going to roll out to the left. He's Get looking. Him. And Get he's him, That's Dion Jango with the sack, but it was pressure yes. from Yannick Ngakwe that allowed Dio to get to him, and that's a big hit on third and short, making it third and long. Absolutely. <laughs> like you said, uh, Yannick got in there and just really collapsed that tackle down, and then he had no choice but to run into the arms of a waiting Dio Adangbo. And those are some long, strong arms. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Third Yannick and 11. Ngok- Yannick Ngakwe has played his ass off this year. A lot of pressure. Shotgun, man in motion, running back to the left, three receivers to the right. Takes a snap, steps back. Needs to pick up 11 yards. Got a little bit of time. Dumps it off to the tight end. And oh, he, he fell falls short. down he short. He fell short. He fell short a yard. And he not slipped under his own feet. That's TJ Hawkinson. Slipped under his own. Are they going to go for it at the 30-yard line again? Are they going to go for it on fourth and one again? Well, oh, I that'd mean, be so funny. Well, honestly, w- wouldn't you? I mean, you've already set the pr- premise you gave them. I mean... Dang, he was he knew he couldn't hit Frank Franklin was going to light his ass up. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure he still would have rather had a little. His yeah, feet under him. <laughs> they're going. No, they're punting. No, they're punting. Okay, well, that would be wait, dumb to do it or like faking it. <laughs> yeah, they faking. are faking it. They're going to it. Oh, what a play! I said, Roger Senior's like I seen this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in all honesty, if you're going to go for it in the last time, it makes sense to go for it in this time. But oh, wow, my God. Isaiah Rogers Sr. was like, nah, I got this. Are you seriously going to throw the ball against me? I'm a, I'm a cornerback, dude. Look at this. Although, I'll be honest with you, that should have yeah, been Yeah, that was just a bad throw. Because had he caught that, that's a, t- that's, that's a first down. Yeah. That's just, had he kept that ball down, that's a, that's a first down. For all that's going wrong for the Colts. But you're putting your punter in there throwing the football. Come on now. Under center, single setback, takes a snap, fakes it, rolls out to the right. He looks, looks, throws. He throws it at the dirt. Good play right there. 
to avoid this. He just threw the ball away. Screw it. I'll tell you right though that that was a decent protection and stuff. And, and Matt Ryan had plenty of time to make those decisions. He got to his third look and was like, okay, you know, got to get this thing out of my hands. I, I I I don't mind that play at all, at all. Basil says the purple panic button has been pressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Come shotgun, on. empty backfield, three receivers to the right, two to the left. They need to get to the 21-yard line for a first down. They're at the 31. Takes the snap. Let it go. Unblocked person. He throws it in the dirt again on purpose. Good play right there. Third down and 10 upcoming. That was smart again. Yeah. What the heck? Why couldn't we stop Hicks? Why because wasn't there someone there to block him? It was a delayed blitz, and, and, and you know, and you already got your lineman engaged, and that's just one of those where, I, unless you can break, you know, unless Mac Ryan can get some protection over there, I, I just think they had more more people on that side of the ball than we could uh, stop. Trey Come Ziegler on. says that the subreddit for Vikings is having a meltdown. Uh, running back to the left, shotgun, three receivers to the right, takes a snap, steps back. Hey, they're sending everybody and their mother. Oh, Ryan just lobs out it out in the back. And I'm surprised there wasn't holding against Pierce there. So is Matt. That's okay. <laughs> so is Matt. He's like, what the hell? Right, right. Here comes field goal unit to make it 23 nothing, maybe, because this is a long field goal. This will be like a 48-yarder. Let's go. 49. 49. Man. Let's go. You got this. Come on. There's the snap, the hold, the kick. It's up. It's straight <laughs> enough. It's long enough. And the Colts are up 23 nothing. 23 points. And we still got 10 minutes and 41 seconds left to go in the second quarter. On an Indianapolis Colts game? I mean, what? <laughs> wow. Wow. They are definitely showing. Um, hey, Pat's time. Thanks for the subscription. Appreciate you, guy. The Vikings are showing desperation right now. Uh, utter, yeah. complete and utter desperate. They can't get nothing going on offense right now. No. I will agree with that. I mean, you look. The, the the first fourth and short, you know, whenever they went for it, like you said, that to me I thought was desperation. And then you just got to continue down that path, I guess, once you started. The Colts wow. have held the Vikings so far in the first half to 12 yards passing. 12 yards passing. How nuts is that? Wow. This is <laughs> appreciate you, Pete. Pete Draghi says, I just tuned in and I cannot believe this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. This is I mean, <clears throat> I hoped for a good start, but I this this wasn't even on my radar. I, I'm not even gonna lie. This was not, you know, who thought I mean the defense. I know the defense is – well, you said you did. <laughs> no, I didn't say the, I thought 20 I nothing starting out. I thought we'd I start know. out strong, but I didn't think that it would be 20 to nothing. This – I mean, and the fact that the defense is getting turnovers, the special teams blocking punts. I'm, I'm just helping P-Draggy catch up with all – I mean, this has just been fantastic. And Jonathan Taylor's been out of the game since the third play of the game. Absolutely. With an, Ma- with an ankle injury. Yeah, Moss and Jackson are, are filling in nicely. This offensive line's getting good push on the run plays and given decent time on pass protection. I mean, 23 to nothing against the 10 and 3 Vikings. No one, they, there was a lot of people probably expected this score, but the other teams. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I never was there. <laughs> you know, I think I said, but, wow. Man, Discord is going to be popping tonight <laughs> after this. <clears throat> oh, well, again, you know, we still got way over half a game left. Uh, damn near three quarters. Of the yeah, game. but if the, if this doesn't turn out in the favor of Colts, it's going to be popping in a negative way. So either way, Discord yeah, is going way to be it's popping. Either way, it's popping, right? <laughs> Absolutely. 
And here comes the kickoff. Bam. And he's going to return it three yards deep, four okay. yards deep. He gets out, doesn't get to the 25. He gets stopped at the 23-yard line again. And that and that's about where the Vikings have started all night. Hmm. Look at this. <laughs> Here's something for you. This is the fourth time the Minnesota Vikings offense has touched this football. Not once have they successfully punted the football yet. <laughs> That's right, because they only tried once. <laughs> yeah. Here's the snap handoff as Cook. Stop. He takes a nice oh. little cutback right there because <sighs> Grover Stewart was going to hit him three yards deep. I thought Grover had him, even though Grover was engaged. I was like, get that guy out of the way and just Cook's, oh, Cook's a slippery sucker. He's a good running yes, back. He picks oh, up three, I think, on the run. Yeah, he's definitely a good running back. After he yeah. cut back inside and went up the middle. If he stays healthy, he's he's one of the top three or four most dangerous running backs in the league. Absolutely. Third down and six. They're going to give him four on that. Shotgun takes a snap, steps back. He's going to dump it over there to hair. Oh, they tried to get it to Jefferson. He got it, but it's not a first down. It'll be third down and two upcoming. Okay. I, I don't even think they try to run this ball on us right now. Honestly, I, I feel like that they're going to – Maybe do play action, but at this defense, I wouldn't try to run it. Not for two yards. Shotgun. Running back to the left. Takes a yeah. snap. Steps back. Looks. Looks. Get him! Got him! Get him! Got him! DeForest yes! Buckner with a sack. DeForest yeah. Buckner just fell down at Kirk Cousins' feet and said, thank you. I needed that. Hey, this... what, are they going to go for it again? <laughs> <laughs> But you know the awesome thing is, is you sit there and, and we we talked about this early on. Not only did they have an advantage in the middle of, the, of that field, they had to make it count. And this the center of this pocket has collapsed on Kirk Cousin the entire game so far. I mean, yeah, wide open receiver. Oh, they punted it. Oh, well, barely. And they got rid of it. Fair catch at the twenty-two yard line. All right, and that's offense. where the Colts will take over. Uh, Robert Johnson asks, are we still on the hunt for a wild card? Yes. Technically, we are. We have to win out. Uh, the Jaguars have to lose two games or one game. One game. They got to lose at least. No, they got to lose. Yeah, one game because they don't have a tie. Uh, the Titans have to lose all but one game. Mm -hmm. If we end up 8-8-1 eight, eight and one, we and and the Titans do not get to nine wins then okay. we make the playoffs. So there is there is potential, but, but there, there's a lot of things that have to happen. But right now, the first thing is happening. The Colts are coming out and playing good football and dominating football, dominating football. I mean, on every aspect of this game. The awesome. only thing only thing that we've been out outplayed on is the defense has had – we the Colts have had more penalties than – the Vikings. But. And the offense is not able to seemingly move the ball inside the 10-yard line. We seem to move backwards rather than forward once we get inside the 10. But that's nitpicking. Well, yeah. That's <laughs> nitpicking Vikings, when we're tw up 23 nothing. Vikings haven't got inside the 10, so that's not even comparable. Vikings <laughs> ain't got to the 40 yet uh, of their own 40, you know. Right. Let's go, guys. Let's go. And I apologize to you Vikings fans that are in here. <laughs> yeah, I, it's been a rough year, and we're just going to enjoy it. Yeah. I hope you – we don't mean disrespect. We just – we're enjoying the – we're enjoying the positive vibes that are happening for our team. <laughs> I said every game the Colts have this year is a winnable game. This being the toughest game left on the schedule. Yeah. Right? Yep. The Colts could legitimately win out if they play well. They can't turn the football over. And so far – Wow. <laughs> what a glorious start to this game. Now, this would be great. Great time for the offense to just sit there and just put another good drive down the field. I mean, honestly, if we could sit there and, and drive the ball down and score another touchdown, go ahead. No, oh, I'm just saying the Vikings finally hit 10 yards passing. Oh. <laughs> but if, if this team could sit there and – excuse me, and drive down the field and get another score, preferably seven. <clears throat> I don't know. How, I mean, 
I don't know what what, what Minnesota's mentality would be after that because you know then you got to start <laughs> start thinking about mercy. This at, this this at this point, this is the worst field position the Colts offense has had all game at the twenty six yard line. Yeah, that, that yeah, because that first kickoff return was all the way out to the forty six. I think it was. Yeah. Under center, single setback, handoff to the running back, and he plows forward, picks up three yards. It'll be second down and seven at the 30. Just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. Just drive the ball, drive the ball, drive the ball. Chew up some clock. I mean, I would love it if Minnesota doesn't get this ball until past the two-minute one. You know what I mean? Just keep or driving. Or at all. I mean, yeah, wow. you, could, yeah. you could hold the ball for eight and a half minutes. Yep. You just got to move the sticks. <laughs> Shotgun running back to the left, takes a snap, handoff again, and he gets stopped after a one yard gain. Gets pushed back. It'll is be it, third down and third down and six upcoming. Is it too early in your opinion to start playing running these play clocks down to you know five seconds or less? Because I've noticed the last few snaps have been 15, 16 seconds left. Do you? I mean, with this much, you of snap lead? the ball when you think the defense isn't ready. Because no matter what, I mean. Look, yeah, we have 23 points, but again, I said you need at least 24 to win this game, so we ain't got enough points on the board yet. <laughs> yeah. All right, shotgun, running back to the right, three receivers to the left. Takes a snap, steps back. Here comes the blitz. Got it, got it. Pass out to Get it. Yes. Paris Campbell, and Paris Campbell dives forward for a uh, pickup of eight and a first down. Nice to see Paris Campbell getting in the mix here. Yes, sir, and look at that. I mean, they're so far off of him. they got to respect his speed. Mm -hmm. Man, love it. Love it. Let's go, guys. Let's go. All right. Come on. Colts get another first down, moving the sticks. We got under center, single setback. Stacked over on the left side, takes a snap. That's a fake on the handoff. He steps back, throws, and Michael Pittman oh. Jr. dropped the football. That was right. a 12-yard pass, and Pittman let it go right through his hands. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe we had. Let's see where. That was I, a good I, pass. It looked yeah, it like looked it like it was. Yeah, we're let him uh, out right. Yeah, he just dropped yeah. it. Yeah, he let him perfectly. That was. I mean, that's exactly where Michael wants that. Yep. <clears throat> he just dropped it. Second down and ten at the thirty-eight yard line. Three receivers to the right, two to the left. Empty backfield. Takes a snap. Here comes a four-man rush. He steps, steps, throws. Over the middle. Ooh, that was tight coverage right there against uh, Alec Pierce. I'll tell you what. This offensive line is protecting. I mean, that pocket right there, what is it? About a four or five second play, and he had nobody, nobody around him when he yeah. let the ball go. Yeah, he was. Yeah. I'll tell you what. He, the, the cornerback jumped that route. Yeah, yeah, did a real good job there. Yeah. I mean, actually, Alec Pierce did pretty good just to get his hands on and make sure that it wasn't an INT, so. There's no flag because the cornerback was uh, breaking on the ball. You can hit the receiver at that time if your break is towards the ball going after the ball. That's not pass interference or holding. Yeah. Here comes the snap. Here comes the blitz. It's a big stunt. Matt Ryan throws. It's caught, but it's only going to be for about two, and that's a fumble. Oh, and it's going to be returned for a touchdown. No, it ain't. Jelani's going to shut him down. Nope. Uh, damn it. Come on. And just like that, Michael Pittman Jr. not only drops the football on one, but he fumbles it on this one, and it's returned by the defense for a touchdown. Another play that was dead two seconds earlier just needed to go down. Damn it. There's no points on the board. Was the play pulled blown dead? Oh, no. They never do that in our favor. They did blow it dead. Did they really? Yeah. They blew it dead. See, we don't have the we don't have yeah. the sound on because if we can hear it, that means you can hear it, and then that's copyright infringement. Appreciate you, Odin, for letting us know. <laughs> all, all, all you guys, appreciate you guys. Colts get to punt the ball for the first time, and I'm ecstatic about that because I was already going, man. <laughs> Michael's having – Michael, the last three games, Michael Pittman Jr. has not looked good at all. He's got fumbles. He's dropping balls. He's just he's not breaking tackles. He's not what we were used to. Yeah. 
And he started off good in this game. So let's just get back on track because now, you know, he, oh, all right, let's go. Other than one drop pass, the fumble didn't happen. Rich so. wants <laughs> us to go for a fake punt. <laughs> no, not when we're up 23 to nothing. All right. All right, here's Matt Hack, Hawk. Kylan Granson making sure everybody's getting – and first down finish. no it ain't no, it's, it's eight three. yards it's eight yards gosh darn it five yards <laughs> i know but if we needed eight that's why i was like yeah. false start oh. on the offense what the hell really okay. nothing has been called against the vikings everything exists against the colts even just saturday's like what the hell we're beating the snot out of them and yet are you they know, calling Luke Rhodes? Yeah, he's the long snapper. No, All right. Saying, did they call it on him? I think so. <laughs> right, Here's the punt. It. There you Boom. go. Boom. Hawk gets the ball. Oh, my. Oh, my. Drives him all the way back to that 10-yard line. There's a flag on the play. He's pushed out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. What's the flag about? What's the flag? The Colts have had every flag in this game. Not a single flag has been thrown against the Vikings this entire game. Oh, go. look, the first one. Okay, defense. The first flag against the Minnesota Vikings all game. The Colts have had all the flags. I'm trying to figure out why Pizza Beast is saying this because that is not the case at us. Reverse. Look. The Colts have had every flag in this game. No, yeah, I think you know there hasn't been a lot of flags, but every one of them have gone against the Colts. Yes. Yeah. All That's right. That's the well. first one against the Vikings the entire game. All right, let's go. Let's go, defense. Man, I'll tell you right now, you know, seeing <clears throat> that Michael Pittman Jr. and thinking there for a moment that that was a fumble, and then being able to punt the ball, it's like, okay, let's go. That feels like a win to me. Yeah, you know, punting the ball was just like, all right. They do they do have the blow it dead in the grass. If you can't move the football, if you sit in a spot for two seconds, they blow it dead, yeah. right? So if it's – for a quarterback, it's shorter time than that, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But they blow it Generally dead. Speaking, to... you... Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Generally speaking, your running backs are going to be the ones that get a little bit extra time because of just the nature of their game and stuff. But like you said, quarterbacks, running backs, you know, you see a lot of these guys. But the thing was, is that there again, that 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 sort of, you know, you talk about scouting officials and knowing how they call plays or how they blow games and stuff. And, and that's one of those things that, you know, you just sort of got to get a feel for. But come on. We're going to find out what's up. Guys, there's a hundred of you in here. Please smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. Uh, it helps with the YouTube analytics. Get us out to more people. Um, wow. If you have not done that yet, if you want to subscribe, obviously. When this game is over, me and Rodney McLeod, the Colts starting strong safety, and Gerard Powers will be talking about this game. We always talk about what went wrong. It it would be really nice for once to talk about what went finally right. So <laughs> let's keep this going, okay? Okay, and I want to, just so you guys know what I'm talking about, I'll pull it up here. Video boss says I'd bench. Okay, first off, the only thing he's done wrong in this play, because that fumble was not a fumble, so the only thing that he's done wrong was have one pass that went through his hands. Outside of that, remember that first drive, he had, what, two or three catches that helped the chains move and stuff. So yeah. I yeah. ain't mentioned the guy just, you know, not me personally, at least. Wow. All the way to the five yard line. Colts on, defense guys. looking for a safety under center, single setback. Tight formation as a bunch to the right. False start. We got a false yeah. start. Finally. That's <laughs> half the distance to the goal line. Let's go. Let's get this. Let's drive these guys back into the end zone and get some points that way, defense. Come on. This defense is very aggressive. This front line is incredibly, incredibly 
aggressive. They get penetration very, very well. So especially up the middle right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Shotgun, three receivers to the right, running back two two receivers to the left, empty backfield. Here comes four. He's going to dump it off. Oh, Bobby. Quick. Nice cut inside by Justin Jefferson. Why? Why was Bobby O'Karake on? I know they were in zone. Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> uh, that's a good pickup. It's second down and four upcoming. They're going no huddle with six minutes left in the half. He's uh, three receivers to the right, two to the left. Shotgun is Cousins. Takes the snap. He steps back, oh. looks up, throws. What a play! Whoa. This time, Okereke made up for it, and I don't think Jefferson's getting up. I gotta say, he took a good shot. Yeah. He isn't. And I'll tell you right now, Kirk Cousins took a pretty solid hit from Defoe because Defoe got in there really fast on that last play. Okereke got burnt the last time. This time, Okereke uh, covered him very well, didn't get blitzed, and he just drove him down to the ground. Uh, I don't see nothing wrong with that that play right there by Okereke. He did he all he did was do his job. What happened here? Did he land on his arm? Look, maybe his shoulder looked like his maybe his shoulder his, or elbow yeah, or something. It, yeah, because his left arm got tucked up under him. It looked like he may have came down on that left shoulder. Yeah, there was nothing bad there by Okereke on that play at all. Hopefully Justin's okay. I don't want to see anyone hurt. He might have got the wind knocked out of him. Maybe mm-hmm. good to see that he's getting up. He's limping. Wow. Wow. So that now puts both teams. He might be under a concussion. I see his head didn't look like he even made hard contact on the ground. I mean, it did make contact. Yeah, but I mean, it just sort of slid. It didn't even look like it was. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go, defense. All right, third down and three upcoming. I just want you guys to know, please, no spoilers in the chat. Three receivers to the right, running back to the left, man in motion, shotgun. They need to get to the 15. They're at the 12. Takes a snap. Here comes the pass rush. It throws over to me. Intercepted, and that's a touchdown. That's a pick six wow. by Julian Blackman. What? Are you kidding me? And Julian Are Blackman. Are you kidding me? Julian Blackman's playing the slot corner in place of Kenny Moore today, and he's like, let's do this. Man, wow. two turnovers. Two turnovers in the first half by the Indianapolis Colts today. Not to mention the turnover on downs <clears throat> twice. Wow. What a just dominating first half performance so far. Wow. Pick six by JB. It's nice to see him finally get on because we've, we've kind of rang him a new asshole the last few weeks. Uh, <laughs> He the actually thing, made a good play jumping the route on that one. And the thing is, is we knew this, but, you know, that, that pressure up the middle, and he got it for making another 30 to nothing. 30, 30 to nothing, to guys. Nothing. It's 30 to nothing. In the first half, the defense and the special teams are playing lights out football right now. The offense is doing a good enough job that they're not giving the game away. And the Colts <laughs> look like a playoff team right now. <clears throat> oh, great. Here you go. This will be the team nobody wants to meet in the playoffs. We're going to hear it now. <laughs> wow, what a start. Glad to have you in here. <laughs> Intercessor says, boom. <laughs> right? Wow. <laughs> Jack did say we'd hit 30, and I was very skeptical of that one. So my Glad. bad, Jack. <laughs> yep. I don't know if anyone watched my me and Gerard's prediction, but I think I had a 28, 24, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, is you know, we sat there and we were talking about, or I was talking about missing, you know. Uh, Brandon face on and, and Kenny Moore. I mean, five and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. So, you know, game's still early, but really haven't experienced anything that, that's made you feel like, oh man, this is rough to overcome. So Julian Blackman, like I said, he's, he's replacing Kenny Moore. I mean, 
to be honest with you, Kenny Moore would have done the same thing on that play probably because that was uh, – there again, that pressure. I think that pressure is starting to get in Kirk Cousins' head a little bit. All right. All right, Cousins at the 25-yard line under center, single setback, takes a snap. They're going to hand the football yes! off. He is, oh, he's hitting God. the backfield three yards deep, slips the tackle, and Rodney McLeod's having a little bit of time getting up. I hope he's all right. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, you see Rodney and Grover meeting the guy in the backfield. You're like, oh, that's done. No, it was not. Kirk Cousins has been under pressure this entire game. And I stated it earlier, the Indianapolis Colts defensive line is fourth in the NFL in pressures, pressure percentage. Shotgun, second and nine, takes a snap, quick throws over the middle. That's caught by number 17. He gets the first down with a pickup of 10 yards. All right, defense, come on now. Max Osborne right there with a first – is that their first? Yeah, that's the first time they picked up the first down through the air. Shotgun okay. takes a snap. Stands in the pocket. Got time. Throwing it deep down the left sideline. What a catch. What a catch wow. by Osborne. What a catch. What a throw. I mean, one on was... one against Isaiah Rogers, and Osborne just got just smoked Isaiah Rogers. That looked like a push off. That was a push off at the end by Osborne. That was a push off. There should have been a mm. flag there. Yeah. They're not going to show it now. But that was still Isaiah Rogers got recovered. He got yeah. Isaiah Rogers, I've said this a hundred times. Isaiah Rogers bites on that first cut, and that hurts him bad. I don't think you could challenge a, a pass interference. No, he may be challenging the ball because after the ball hit the ground, it wobbled loose, and he may be challenging that. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. It did hit the ground. Yeah, I don't but, know that. They're but gonna... No, no, that's a first. He caught it. It didn't come out of his hands. See the ball gets loose, and that's where you know that's yeah. Oh, if if they if they don't call that a catch, then I'll be very surprised. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, I would be too. Because it does hit the gr oh, it came out of his hands. That's what I'm saying. I don't now. That's you see not a catch guy. now. <laughs> that's not a catch. It came completely out of his hands while he was on the ground. Wow. Both his hands came off the football. While he was on top of the football and the football was between him and the ground, that's not a catch. No, I agree. I agree. Like I said, everything looks solid. It looked like a that, catch right up did. until I see that, so that, that one, one view. view. <laughs> see, and this is the time that I'm happy that we can't hear because I don't want to hear what Pereira's got to say. <laughs> you know, and it's just like, whatever, man. I don't need you to tell me what I can see. Right here, it'll show it. Yeah, I thought his arms were under, but right that, there, his hands come completely off hand the come, football. That's right, because when he lands, it. when he lands, his left hand comes off, and then the right hand comes off afterwards. That's not. I a catch. agree. No, I agree completely. Great challenge, <laughs> great challenge. Because there's no way I I would have challenged that as quickly as they did. No, Somebody up yeah, in the they booth was that. on it. They did a good mm -hmm. job catching that one. Even if it isn't about, even if it, it doesn't get acknowledged, I mean, because. You're trying to keep this Minnesota team from getting any momentum, anything to be happy about. It's been overturned. <laughs> no catch. Yes! Let's go defense! Now, let's finish this thing off. Let's make this count. Looking at third and short, I think, Ralph, now. Wow. 106 of you in here. If you haven't hit that like button, please hit that like button. We'd appreciate it. Helps with the video analytics. If you want to donate to the channel to help us out a little bit, with more no, it's second down at ten. We'd love to uh, love to have you use super chat. You can use the link in the uh, description of the video for donations, it's just like a super chat. Uh, but you can get more words in for less money. To be yeah. fair, <laughs> it is nice to see Justin Jefferson back out there. I didn't want to see him hurt. Nope. Second down at ten. Shotgun running back to the right takes the snap. Hands off to, oh, he's clobbered up in the backfield. He's going to lose yes. a yard and a half. And that is, guess who? <laughs> Cowart. Cowart, Cowart just, and Buckner. Yeah. 
Cowart and Buckner both. Third yeah, down and 11 upcoming. That interior offensive line for the Vikings is is struggling tonight. Yes, it is. Come on, keep it going. Oh, they didn't say that was a TFL? Come on. No, that's a TFL. Yeah. They got him behind the line of scrimmage. Shotgun, <laughs> running back to the left, split receivers. Need to get to the 46-yard line. Takes a snap. He throws over the middle. Blasted yes, by Stephon Gilmore. And <laughs> Gilmore, Gilmore looked at Osborne and said, I'm not Isaiah Rogers. <laughs> I... That shit ain't happening with me. All right. He not he hit him as the ball got there, knocked that ball right out. What another play by Stephon Gilmore. Blasted him. Blasted Great him. Great job, defense. I mean, he got his hand on the ball and then he secured the tackle. To... Textbook. Absolute textbook. And another defensive stop by the Indianapolis Colts. Fair catch at the 20. We got a Ooh. flag. That's probably going to be holding on the return team. Wow, he caught that. Like, just, wow. <laughs> Great hands catch. That was a hell of a hands. He had to reach out for that. Normally, you see the punter, they 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 make the basket there. He was just like, nah, I'm, I'm going to play a cornerback. Oh, it must be against the, the other team because they're asking Jeff what he wants to do. Punt it again. Make him, unless he can add it to the end of the play. I'd, I'd take, yeah, I'd take, because they're at the 20. If, yeah. if it's a 10-yard penalty, we'll take it at the 30. Because we there's only four minutes left in the game. Oh, it's a false start. Illegal formation. Oh, illegal formation. Yeah. Well, Because if it was a false start, it would have. Yeah, yeah, it would have been before. And then there was no choice in the matter. It would have re-kicked. All right. I don't want to see Vikings I... touch the Touch the ball again the rest of this half. Intercessor, I told I talked about it. Rodney said they're gonna use this week to forget about Dallas and come out and play hard football. And that's Let's exactly go. what they're doing. They're at the 26 yard line. Two running back formation shotgun. That's a pro T. That's a fake handoff on and, the edge. And Deion Jackson takes that bad boy 18 yards downfield. It's called yes! at the 42 yard line. But Dion, that was a beautiful two. We I've been calling for that shit all year. All year I said, let's do this. Two running back formation. That way you can fake it if you want to a guy running up the gut and then pitch that shit. And the thing is, is once again, we are crushing them on the edge. If our if we're, we're hitting them on the edge, we are getting big gains almost every time. All right, under center, big formation, handoff to the running back. He sees a hole, and that's Moss. Oh, yes, and he, he goes, did. dives forward for 10 yards. What a block by Paris Campbell, sealing off that edge to help him get the first down run. Like you said, it looked like it was going to be up the middle, but then he looked over to the left there, and he's like, oh, Quentin and Bernard are crushing. I'm just going to go this way. <laughs> and then and then Paris had his safety, the, the yep. safety that it was on. He had him pushing him back. He was opening that up like nobody's business. This is a great start. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Colt, second down and one. They need to get to the 48. They're at the 48 and three quarters. Takes a snap. Oh, he's going deep. He's wide open. It's Kylan Granson all the way down to the 27-yard line. And it's another first down. Guys, this, this, I mean, this Colts offense is just controlling this Minnesota defense like, like, <laughs> I mean, it's like water going through a, a screen or something. I mean, there's just no resistance right now. These receivers are catching the ball I said with this three, four yards of clear field around them, all the way around them. I said this is the worst defense, pass defense in football. Yeah, I know. And I felt like our offensive line has been playing better and better and better all year. I think they'll do fine against uh, Hunter and Smith. And the defense has been defense, special teams, offense, all three phases playing lights out football. Appreciate you, intercessor, and I couldn't, I couldn't agree any more. That, that's a very wise. <laughs> All right, yes, this is this is phenomenal. I mean, oh hell with it. We seriously may score more points in the first half than we have in any game this season. Right? This drive, I mean, 
this is just insane. It insane. Is. Wow. And the offensive line is opening holes, giving Matt Ryan time. I mean, you see whenever these guys get the balls in their hands, they're they're extending these plays, you know. And the thing is, is this, <coughs> this, this bye week, we're seeing a nice little wrinkles that we haven't seen from this offense since, you know, Saturday came in and they, and they narrowed down the playbook a little bit. Now that you were seeing the, you know, some, like I said, these, uh, that two running backs in the back there, we haven't seen that hardly at all since Jeff came in, you know, and, and hitting the edge a lot harder than I can recall. And in the last few games, this is just, Outstanding, Oregon. outstanding. <laughs> Move on <to> another order. <laughs> I was gonna say this Colts game may end up having you looking like me if you ain't careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, let's go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> this Colts offense has only been forced to punt once. Mm. They've been able to move the ball all the way to the 10 yard line. Once they get to the 10, they, they get stalled. I'm waiting to see what score from the 20 or 15. (laughs) (laughs) You're able to get chunk plays when you need it. God, I don't have money. What a great start. But I do have my card, which has got a little bit on there. It's enough to buy a a box. Unless you know exactly what kind to get. Wow. Make sure that she knows it's this. Okay. Thank you. Wow. This is this is nice. <laughs> I mean, we the thing is, is I keep feeling like I got this dumb look on my face. It's just like, uh, <laughs> it's just like right? I don't even I don't even remember what this felt like. It feels like it's been forever since we've enjoyed a if the Colts, it. you're right. Two minutes left in the half. If the Colts score a touchdown here, it'll be the most points they've scored in any game in a half. That'd be unreal. Zach Moss, single setback. Under center is Matt Ryan. They're at the 28-yard line. Jelani Woods in motion. That's a handoff, and he's stopped. Look at that. Drops, and then plows forward, picks up about four and a half yards on the run. But that offensive line had such push. There was The whole line. Three yards down the field. They reset the line of scrimmage three yards down the field before they got any contact. Who's calling timeout? Minnesota, are they trying to? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Minnesota's calling it. Okay. Hey, um, Basil has a point here. If if this is an under game, Colts win. <laughs> hey, I, I will be the first to admit I'm happy. I was happily very, very wrong. Oh, Minnesota showing blitz. They do. Nice Moss cut. takes advantage of what it. What a great nice cutback cut. by Zach yes. Moss right there at the line of scrimmage. Cuts outside, picks up about seven and a first down, and the clock continues to go. What a great jump cut that was. It... <clears throat> so far, the Colts have 202 offensive yards. Minnesota has 83. 83, ladies and gentlemen. He just followed Dylan. He seen Dylan and said, oh, that was easy for you. I'll just follow you, young man. <laughs> Minnesota is 0 for 6 on third downs. They're 0 for 2 on fourth downs already in this game. This defense for the Colts has been absolutely spec freaking tacular. That's the only thing that is even remotely close is right there. 88 rushing yards for the Colts, 54 for the Vikings. All right. At the 16-yard line, this is where you want to score from. Bunch formation to the right. We got a man in motion. That's a handoff. Zach Moss looking for a hole. He patiently Mm -hmm. sitting in the back there. He's going to pick up two. It'll be second down and eight for the Indianapolis Colts. And Minnesota is now out of timeouts. Yep. All right, 143 left. I'm sorry, 143 left, and we got, what, 12 yards to go to score? And then I would just sit there and just keep running this thing like Novocaine, just keep driving it and driving it. I think it's 14 yards for a score, but either way. I mean, just chew up the rest of this clock and get a touchdown at the end. Yeah. (laughs) Absolutely. 
Yeah, he's probably not liking that a whole lot. Nick Burleson, <laughs> former Vikings player. Yeah. All right. Shotgun. Bunch formation to the left. Jelani Woods is now in motion. Running back to the uh, left as well. Takes a snap. That's a handoff. And he's got the edge. Nice little cutback. Almost tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Okay. Uh, but he was able to pick up two or three. It'll be third down and about six upcoming. Watch for Paris Campbell here. That's what I'm looking for right now. Get Paris Campbell in motion and just find him. Get the first down. I got a feeling this is where you're going to see Jelani Woods or Alec Pierce in the back of the end zone. Oh, okay. Go for it all right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Third and five. Let's go. At least get the first down. Split receivers under center. Pittman in motion. Single setback is Moss. It looks like it might be a run play. Timeout. Yep, they're calling timeout. The you. way Pittman stopped behind the left tackle, that screams run play. Yeah. Or a wide receiver screen to Pittman, you know? All right, so 58 seconds left when we get back. Oh, come on, guys. I want us to put 37 on this scoreboard. Come on. Wow. No kidding. <laughs> but honestly, I mean, they're they're 11 and a half yards away from the end zone. This is perfect strike position. Perfect. You got enough room. You got 21 yards to work with here. Third down and five. Shotgun. Granson in motion. Running back to the right. Takes a snap. And it's a handoff on a quick. Oh! Oh, he gets ta oh, he couldn't shed that tackle. That was too conservative for my liking. Yeah. I mean, I understand. I understand. Now you're going to chew up more of the clock, but. He picks up two. We're going to kick a field goal here. Yeah. Oh. That's all right. <laughs> Listen you're to gonna me. You're going to chew it up. You're going to chew up the clock. You're yeah. going to leave less than 10 seconds on the clock and, and make this a 33 to nothing game. I'm such a greedy Colts fan right now. I just I wanted to just keep going at maximum capacity. But you're right. The fact that they're not even going to get the ball with any time left is mm -hmm. most important. They're going to call timeout right now. Yep. Or even take the penalty. Heck, who knows? <laughs> but the thing is. No, they you know, called it. Yeah, no. But now you figure you know, two seconds. So they're going to be kicking the ball to them with 10 seconds left in the half. Yeah. I'm right there with you, KDC, KDC City. I want to do that, and I want to do that by the end of the third, third quarter. quarter. Yep, end of the third quarter, so you can sit there and get some of get some more Nick Cross out there. You know, maybe maybe see some of these other younger guys that we uh, have not had as much opportunity to see this year. But the fact that they're doing this and still shutting that Vikings offense totally out is just insane. If he makes this field goal. I'll feel if. a little bit better. Stop it. <laughs> Down the left hash mark. Kick is up. And it shanks inside. Good. Colts are up 33-0. The last time we heard 33-0 was the fourth quarter against the Cowboys. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Where the Cowboys and the Col Cowboys scored 33 points to the Colts. Nothing. <laughs> You're killing me, Lawrence. <laughs> we can quit talking about that game, my guy. <laughs> or about that quarter, I guess. Not even the game. Oh, shoot. That's all I've thought about this last week, too. That's now, the if the Colts can score one more time in this game, one more time, I'll feel comfortable. I mean, for a team that has very rarely broke uh, 20 points in their games – and to sit there and, and one you know, one more touchdown, you're doubling that. It's just – that's remarkable. I mean, it is just – did not expect that from these guys. Not this way. Not not with this type of just total domination. Here comes the kickoff. Yeah, you want him returning this one. Mm -hmm. He is nine yards deep. Gets to the 20, 25, 27. Hey, that was the best return. Stop. That was the best return. But the thing is, is why do you do that? You just chew up even more. Yeah, I guess a chance of breaking it there is better than 
breaking, you know. Three seconds left. He better kneel this and go in a half. Yeah. <clears throat> they better walk into the victory formation and kneel that shit. Because if you try it, you never know. Kirk Cousins might be like, let's 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 take our freaking shot. They're in victory formation. I don't know if I call that victory formation when you're down. It is the victory <laughs> formation. <laughs> I just For call them, it, it might be the give up formation. Me, no, but... it's not the give up. It's the get me the hell out of here formation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Colts. <sighs> thank you, Colts. I, man, this is exactly what I needed after this last couple weeks. Next year, the Indianapolis Colts will be playing 15 games on Saturday. <laughs> One game on Monday and one game on Thursday. <laughs> the Colts defense wow. has held the Minnesota Vikings to 27 yards passing. One of the most uh, most explosive passing attacks in football where you got really good receivers out there. And they've only got 27 yards passing. They have 55 yards rushing. Two-thirds of that came on one run. One run. They've held them to three first downs the entire first half. 0 for 6 on third downs. 0 for 2 on fourth downs. Okay? And that's 25 offensive plays. The Colts have three sacks already in the first half. They have got a fumble recovery, an interception pick six, and a blocked field goal return for, or a blocked punt return for a touchdown. <laughs> that's all this, <laughs> this is freaking nuts let's go look matt ryan 9 of 15 118 yards one touchdown no turnovers has been sacked once yeah jack i, I was going to respond to that but i didn't want to interrupt lawrence but basil got there before me he says they do that anyhow they're just going to drink extra heavy this at this point <clears throat> try to forget what they can and and josh this is exactly what I hope the mentality is. This is exactly what I, I mean. Put come your out foot on the throat. Absolutely, come out of this halftime acting like it, acting like you're down. You know what I mean? Just sit there. I mean, okay, or zero zero, however you want to look at it. But just come out and just go go back to what's been working. Which, to be honest, everything's working. But just keep doing more of the same, more of the same. Let's go. Great, great start to this game. What a start. Man. If you were to tell me 33 to nothing was going to be the score in this game, there's no way I would have thought that it would have been in the advantage of the Colts. I wouldn't have thought that the Vikings could have done it, but there's just I did not see either one of these teams just blowing the doors off of the other one. And this I just I cannot even express to you how shocked, pleasantly shocked I am by this. <laughs> And I apologize if you get tired of hearing it, but I just don't know what else to say. I mean, look at this. Everything, like Lawrence was saying, everything is clicking. And it's not just it's not just good. You know what I mean? It's clicking at a very, very high level. I mean, special teams has been just outstanding. The defense getting turnovers and turning them into touchdowns for themselves. You know, the offense is getting down there and, and, and I get it. They're not getting as many touchdowns as we might hope. But the thing is, is they're still getting scores every time they're protecting the ball. No turnovers on the Colts, you know, uh, so we're winning the turnover battle. You know, we, we <sighs> talked about not letting Dalvin Cook be a game changer in this and making them one-dimensional. Let's be honest. <laughs> if, if you're going to look at the positive dimension, you're you're saying Dalvin Cook's the positive because the offense or the passing has been – you know, very nullified. And that is just outstanding whenever you got Justin Jefferson and, and and Adam Thielen and TJ Hawk. I mean, I don't remember. Does TJ Hawkinson, has he even got a reception? Or if he does more than one, maybe? Yeah, he's I mean, got one. Yeah, I, I just, it's just remarkable what this defense has done in this first half. I want to see more of it, though. I want to see more of it. I'll tell you what, uh, this is a situation. Right now, uh, I, I'm getting DMs on Twitter left and right from people saying the Colts just lost their starting franchise quarterback for the future. Are you okay. shitting me? Are you seriously thinking about that and thinking that 
that's even in the minds of the players and coaches of this team? It's not. You know? It's and not. The, and the thing is, as you sit there and <laughs> – these teams, if need be, will find a way to get – but I don't know. I don't know. Because, like I said, I understand – the way of thinking about wanting a better draft capital, but why would you want to sit there and watch your team? Just, I mean, first off, you're putting yourself in harm of getting injured much easier. If you're letting your foot off the gas, you know, if you're sitting there and just playing to get through it and watching the clock. And secondly, it's just, it's cancer in the locker room. I mean, you start sending that message and then, then you let your locker room think that there's times that you should play hard and times you shouldn't. And it's just, I mean, I understand from a fan that you want to get this quarterback situation solved, but that, for me personally, that's just not how I want to do it. Not at all. <laughs> mm-hmm. Get them law. I can hear the keyboard. Get them law. <laughs> you ever see that Jim Carrey where he's like, tick, 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 tick. <laughs> oh, man. What are these guys talking about? Oh, we called this the whole time and we seen this was going <laughs> to. Oh, there you go, Adrian. <laughs> We're, during the season, you're in chase for the division title, well, not look a at, freaking young QB. With the twenty, with the next pick of the 2023 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis select again mediocrity <laughs> from the University of Suck is what people are posting, and they're Colts fans. Really? Yeah. I mean, come on. Well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to berate people. They can, you know, choose the route. I mean, but there's a reason I put my screen name as Colts loyalist. You know I mean? And honestly, that was, that's why you I got were on fighting here. me all week when I said the Colts are going to win this game. And you were like, no, I, I, don't know. I wasn't fighting you, but I was definitely, <laughs> I was definitely leaning on more on the side of, I hope so, but man, I don't know. <laughs> and I, I'll be the first to admit, I am ecstatically happy about how wrong I was. You know what I mean? Because, it, to be honest, you know, though the Colts are doing this, but the Vikings are helping the Colts out quite a bit on their own. The coaching, the players, I mean, to sit there on that that first third or fourth and you know, no, you, you just punt it away and let your defense try to turn the ball over. I mean, but yeah, hey, I'm glad they did. Thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. And Odin, I'll tell you right now, that has been a conversation. And, and, and I love that mentality, but I'll tell you right now, I cannot even imagine that the Ravens won't at least franchise tag them, if not more, you know, if not yeah. get them signed. That's you know, and let, unless they know that Lamar is just done with Baltimore. If they know Lamar is done with Baltimore and stuff, then they <clears> get it. But even though with the injuries, you can't sit there and, and be like, nah. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. That's not necessarily true, Basil. So if Matt Ryan retires at the end of the year and we have Lamar Jackson, that frees up $28 million. And if we trade one guy, say Ryan Kelly, that's 15. That right there, that's enough to pay Lamar Jackson. That by itself, let alone the fact that we're going to have more money mm-hmm. on our cap next year because it's 2023. Yeah. So we'll have the money to get a franchise top 10 quarterback if we have to go trade for him. It's yeah. there. Look at us, guys. We're talking about this. <laughs> We're yeah. winning a freaking game, 33 to nothing. Let's, let's just, if we can't, can we just bask in that and enjoy that today? I mean, I get it. I get it. You know, but we got all week for that. <laughs> all let's week. Have, we, we, we got all of the offseason season to talk about draft and the future and stuff like that. Let's bask in the glory of 33 to nothing. When was the last time the Colts have ever been 33 to nothing against the team? Yeah. I mean, even in their shutouts, you know, they were normally much like, I mean, what was it? Six, nothing a few years back against the Jaguars. When we beat the Cowboys, cause we shut them out. 24, nothing. That was the final? Okay. Because so yeah, I, I honestly can't remember. I, I remember the Cowboys was a, a you know, the offense was really click clicking that game. But yeah, this is and and, and the way, like I said, I, I love the fact that we're shut them out and winning like this, but the way we're doing it in all three phases. I mean, guys, you know, we hear them talking all the time about team win. This was a team win, and, and I'm like, 
No one. You know, a lot of times I look at that, I'm like, no one. You know, you could point out multiple ways that they didn't step up. But right now, guys, I mean, the worst thing we have to complain about is Michael Pittman Jr. missing one catch, you know, and 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 then some penalties. And neither of them have really changed the flow of the game or affected anything negative. I will be back in just a moment. I need to go find out if my daughter's back from the store yet. So, all righty, brother. Need that. You want to go <laughs> ahead? Go ahead and play a couple clips. Uh, I think I got two of them in there. You can play if you want. I'll all be right, back bro. in a moment. All right, guys. Well, like I said, uh, do me a favor. There's 96 of you. If you haven't already, which I don't know why you wouldn't have, but please smash that like button, hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and make sure you ring that notification bell. And like Lawrence said, we're gonna put up some ads up here. You know, and hopefully uh, find something you guys might like to see here. Let me find it. Come check out the Colts Law Merch Shop. New items added every week. All sorts of items. From clothing to cups to cozies to backpacks, hats, just miscellaneous items that you can get around the house. Even phone covers. Just check it out. Let me know. Send me a message. Hey, is there something that I'm missing? Go feel free to ask. Have a good one. This video is sponsored by News. This video is sponsored by Newsbreak. Newsbreak is an app used over 1.5 billion times a month by people just like you to get local news via articles or videos by those who are focused on that specific area. People like myself. Just use the link in the description of this video to download it. Then search a city, state, or someone specific like myself, Colts Law. Then make sure to follow them so you'll get all the news fresh as it comes out. Also wanted to let you guys know that uh, along with the Discord that Lawrence has got built and stuff here, we also have the Patreon. It's $5 a month. Guys, you get early access to all the Believe in Colts content. You get behind the scenes. Look at it. You get uh, Wednesday. I'll tell you right now, you guys need to join before this Wednesday because <laughs> there is a large group of men in this Patreon that have are going to be very happy after this game. I mean, you see B-Ball in here, and you got Jack Crumbless, you know, and a lot of these guys. And what it is is we all get together on Wednesdays, and we sit there, and we we just sit there and talk about anything and everything. But I will definitely, definitely make sure, if, if, if they don't do it on their own, that we will talk about this game and how much fun it was to sit here and watch just this total domination in the first half. And hopefully we'll be able to talk more about it how awesome it was to watch them dominate equally as much so in the second half. Can't hear you, brother. The special teams have played so damn good. Mm -hmm. I mean, not just the fact that, you know, uh, they're, they're making stops, uh, they're blocking punts and returning it for touchdowns. But listen to this, okay? We have one kick return. That's it, one. Dallas Flowers took that bad boy almost 50 yards, 49 yards. Not a single punt return. Only only one punts happened all the way through, and it was fair caught. Matt Matt Hawk has one punt, fifty five yards, and with next to no in return. the air, yeah, with no. next to no return, <laughs> yeah, no return, fifty five yards netted. And Chase McLaughlin has made all four of his field goals, one of them from forty nine yards. Our entire special teams has been lights out. Our defense has been utterly lights out. Here we go. The only our offense hasn't been lights out, but they played well enough not to lose. And that's four yards deep. We're going to be returned. Gets to the fifteen, the twenty. Gets tackled. Uh, nice tackle right there uh, by number forty-seven. <laughs> drops him to the, about the 23, 24 yard line. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. again. 47 just sat there and he drew a line. He's like, which way are you going? He got under control and that was it. That thing was not getting back to the 25. I'm assuming you're talking about my merch shop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just did a merch uh, shop. I don't know. I'll have to look and see what's available. But I'll tell you right now. Go ahead, Lawrence. 
All right, tight formation under center, single setback, takes a snap, hands it off to the running back. He is blasted. Quitty Pay. 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 Yes. Quitty Pay tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. And I will tell you guys about that merch shop. I know the holidays are coming around. The prices, I mean, I don't care if Lawrence was here or not. The prices are really, really good, reasonable, and the quality is top notch. Shotgun takes a snap. Man, he's under pressure. Wow! And you know it's a sack. And he's Everybody with the one on the, on the Everybody with the one on your on your jersey, make a damn play this drive. The entire offensive law, defensive line to save Quiddy Pay has a sack so far. Grover, DeForest, now Yannick, mm. and, and, and Dio. Third down, 18, shotgun, empty backfield, takes the snap, steps back. Wow, under pressure like nobody's been. Get him, Dio! He's not right, throwing away. The and the defense is just still. Oh, my goodness. Holy crap. Kirk Cousins is like, damn, this is worse than the first half. <laughs> they doing nothing but going backwards in this game. God, what a great start. Let's go. I Let's said, go. I said that our defensive line was going to play well. All they needed to do was get pressure on Cousins. And with that center being out, their starting center being out, it was going to be a massacre. And it sure as hell has been. Here's the punt, and there it goes. He's going to catch this ball at the – he dropped it. Oh, he, uh, at least he, he got, got it out of bounds. Yeah, he got on. 35, 34-yard line. Flowers kind of muffed it a little bit. All right, let's go. Whoa, that is a green jacket. Whoa. <laughs> that is a very, very green jacket. Guys, if you want to watch the same – now, it's not just this. Uh, we watch a lot. Right here's the Discord link in the chat. We watch a lot of stuff, not just Colts games. We watch football. You know, whenever there's a football game on, we're watching football. Okay. Plus, also soccer and baseball and basketball and all sorts of stuff. So, all right. There's the handoff to the running back. He's going to plow up forward, pick up five. It's going to be I'll second right down now. and five up, up, up and coming. And this is awesome. That left side, that hole there was three running backs wide. I mean, that was. Outstanding it's, blocking by the left side of that line. Absolutely. This this team is playing fantastic football right now. Absolutely. And these first down plays, five yards, six yards, eight yards. I mean, these first down plays are just exactly what any team would want. All right. Under center, single setback is Deion Jackson. We got uh, three receivers. It looks like Jelani screaming. Oh, no, that's. Well, we got a flag on the play, but I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah, he's hoping that they're calling it on the offense. Otherwise, he just gave us an automatic first down. Yep. Or, no. Yeah. Second four, yeah. So. Encroachment. There you go. Yep. Sweet. Sweet. They didn't have anyone on Mo Alley Cox. Mo was trying to get Matt Ryan's attention. I'm not even sure what he saw there. Uh, Because Braden Smith moved a little bit, but oh, he, he moved his head, and it, he moved it side to side. He didn't jerk it back. Mm. You can move side to side with your head. Yeah. You can't yeah, jerk I... it back. All right. First and 10 at the 45. Shotgun. Running back. That's a handoff to the running back, and he goes forward. He's going to pick up a yard and a half, maybe two on the run. I'll tell you right now. Yeah, if he would have cut inside rather than outside of Quentin Nelson, that's a big run. I'll tell you what, that Vikings defender was across early. I don't know if he is keen on something, but if he wasn't off, uh if he wasn't in the neutral zone, he was really timed that perfectly. We have to clean something up there. Come on, guys. Shotgun, single setback. That's Moss this time. Takes a snap. Looks, looks, dumps it. That's good. Yeah, he was all over Paris. That was a quick dump off pass. Uh, we're looking at third and eight upcoming. Patrick yeah, Peterson all over. Yeah, uh, that was a great play on his part. Mm -hmm. And when you expect that, Patrick Peterson's a good corner. But, yeah, he, he shouldn't have thrown that football. I understand he was, he was, he was like, uh, I've been standing here and no one's came around. You know, I better get rid of the football, but there was no one there. Yeah. 
Three receivers to the right, one to the left, running back to his left. That's Zach Moss. Shotgun is Matt Ryan. Needs to pick up eight. That's going to be a wide receiver screen. And Michael Pittman Jr. is plowing forward and uh, comes up short. <sighs> this is no man's zone. I think you go for it. They're at the 47-yard line. You go for looks it like, here. Looks like Matt's coming off the field. Fourth and two, I would have went for it. Well, and, and my pushback to that is, okay, you're up 33 to nothing. You know, you, I get what you're saying as far as but right now. Why not just let your defense get out there? And I mean, you you got an opportunity to pin them inside the ten here. Yeah, I will yeah. say that. Matt's that, not a Matt. The only problem is Matt is not good at pinpointing yeah. a football. He's a boomer. Yeah, that's not his natural. Get hurry up and snap this thing. What are we doing here? Too late. I think they were fine. looking for. That's him. fine. They were they they don't care about that. They were looking. Right. They were hoping to get the. Then they jump off side. Yeah, he's like, I'll take that extra five yards to get give me a little more room to get that, like you said, pin them inside the 10 or the five. But yeah, saying this is something that we do miss out on a little bit with Rigo going down early in the season because that now Rigo was punting this thing. He would put, I mean, it was almost a guaranteed inside the five. So, but let's do it. Show us your best Rigo impersonation. All right, here comes the punt. No. There it is, straight up in the air. He's calling for a fair catch at the eleven. All right, yeah. Again, Let's like go, I he, said, he's not good at pinpointing inside the ten. He's yep. just not. But that's fine. Like I said, I, I, when you're up thirty-three to nothing, just make make that Vikings offense have to. Not to mention the fact that Kirk Cousins is, you know, they're in his head. You know, like you were saying with Matt Ryan, as far as he threw the ball because he was worried about the pressure and stuff. Kirk Cousins playing the same way. Yeah, I, I do believe it was a paper airplane that uh, <laughs> floated down on the field behind uh, Matt Hawk. I think it was a note to the referees. Uh, <laughs> Help my team, please. <laughs> <laughs> what a game. Man. So, again, we need – don't – don't sit on your laurels here. I no, get we're up 33 no, nothing. Yeah. Don't sit on your laurels. Don't put the game on the defense and force the defense to continue to play great football. Offensively, go out there and play football, mm -hmm. right? If there's a deep shot, take it. Screw it. Who cares? <laughs> you know, they're not getting a whole lot of pressure in passing situations unless right. they send a blitz. Yeah, because let's be honest, the Colts can score 33 points and a half. I'm pretty sure that this Vikings could do the same. And you just mm – -hmm. and until, like I say, if you go in 50 to nothing and at the end of the third quarter, then you can sit there and start thinking, okay, now let's pull some guys, save some guys and stuff. But until then, <laughs> run it up. Run it up. <laughs> you know, what's that movie? I keep thinking the name of it where he just looks at him and goes, it's time to run it up, my guy. Right. I agree. Hey, they lost about 10 yards of total offense, the Vikings did, on that last drive. They're up. They're down now to 74 total offensive yards. <clears throat> wow. I, that just still boggles my mind because I got mad respect for this Vikings offense. And they're, I just – I mean, this defense is just really giving them nightmares today. And I'm loving it. I'm yep. loving it. Without – Two of our better corners. Yeah, two of our top four cornerbacks. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> and really, the only big play that got burnt on, and luckily he, uh, the challenge flag hit because of the the ground, was Rogers. You know, where well, he that got, he got burnt bad. That and that 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 toss out to Dalvin Cook where he went for forty plus. But yeah. That that but that wasn't a pass play. That was a toss right. tweet. No, so. I know. Yeah. Uh, under center, single setback. That's the hand. Uh, nope. He fakes the handoff. He steps up in the pocket. Has time. Nice pass all the way to the twenty-five yard line to Justin Jefferson. Is that Thomas or McLeod? I think that was Thomas. It looked okay. like a five error instead of a six. That's the first good play by Justin Jefferson this entire game. All right, guys. Nah, let's don't let them get too comfortable and too happy with themselves. Come on. Kirk Cousins had too much time on that last one. Let's go. All right. Under center again. Single setback. Man in motion. 
Oh, he didn't go nowhere. That's what you call setting an edge. They tried to they, <laughs> they tried a jet sweep, and Odangbo was like, nah, not today, homie. He that gets is, him five yards deep in the backfield. And threw him to the ground. Oh, oh, easy on that. Okay. Yeah, they, don't walk up. Oh, oh they did. God it. dang it. They, did. they got him for unsportsmanlike conduct. They got him 15 yard penalty. Dang it, Dial. I know how good that had to feel. And then to do that and just. Oh. You walked yeah, him when, away, yeah, yeah. When he walked him down four steps to get. Yeah, that's. Yeah. They're going to call that. You can't, yep. They're going to call that every time. You can't do that. He's going to get tough, too. Now, if he was, yeah, no fun link. Now, if he was a wide receiver or whatever, they'll let him do that crap all day long. Instead of second and 15, it's first and 10. Damn it. Damn it. All right. At the 35-yard line, under center, single setback. Rodgers looked like he was ready to go. Oh, no, that's, that's Blackman. Blackman, yeah. And he is. He's going. Cook is hitting the backfield. DeForest Buckner and Grover Stewart both met him back there. Two-yard loss. You see, they got up and celebrated with each other and said, look at yeah. it, Calvin. Yeah. <laughs> and as you were sitting there and you're like, oh, Blackman's going. And I'm like, yes, sir. And Cal uh, Dalvin Cook is not going. <laughs> he was too He had nowhere to cut away from the center. No, because no, Blackman had the, the right side. And then, like you said, those two guys in the middle. Shotgun, three receivers to the left. He's got time. Throws deep over the middle, wide open. Oh, no, Thomas. Wide open. All the way to the five-yard line. Gosh, darn it. Rodney Thomas, where are you, my guy? Osborne takes a slant route or is it a post? It was a post, skinny post. Yeah, he knew. And he, he took knew. it downtown. Hand off Cook. He's going to get hit in the backfield. He still falls forward for a, a yard and a half, two yards. Great play by Quiddy, though. Come crashing yeah. down and absolutely. Tell you what, Quiddy's having a good game. I know he's the only defensive starter that lineman starter that hasn't got a sack yet, but he's still playing a good, good solid game. Good to see him back out there today. You know, the Vikings finally going to put points on the board. They're second and goal at the three yard line, two yard line. Under center, single setback, man in motion is Jefferson. Takes a snap. No handoff at all. He's looking for somebody. He's going to throw over the middle. Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought for sure that was an interception. Thomas should have picked that off. Oh, that was a bad throw. Oh, my goodness. That should have been a pick. Third and goal upcoming, but oh, my goodness. Oh, oh I thought he had that. All right, all right. Good play, though. Good play. Oh, yeah, the defense is locking down. They gave up a couple big plays this game or on this drive. Third and goal. Josh, I don't think they go for three here. <laughs> I really don't. No, you don't. You go for a touchdown. Shotgun, man in motion. It's Osborne. Takes a snap. Looks over to the left. He's wide open. Yeah. Touchdown. Damn. Where's Gilmore? Gilmore was over there. They were in zone. I know, but I mean, the, the angle he took was just weird. He was, he, he, he was breaking to get a uh, bat on the ball. But that's what I'm saying. The angle that was seems a, like he could have flattened that out and had a better shot. Because <clears> by the time they threw the football, it was it was a little late for him. Sorry, I was just watching this real quick. Yeah, see, he was way far back. His only chance was yeah. to try to close that uh in the angle that he was he was going. All right. And the extra point is up and we have ourselves a football game, ladies and gentlemen. 33 to 7. I was hoping not have to do this today. <laughs> like I said, I'm a greedy fan right now. I ain't going to lie. Good things are happening. I won't. Uh, Gilmore was in – Was they were in zone defense, and Gilmore dropped into his spot in the zone. And they threw the ball out to the corner. And like there was a rub play, and that was the problem. It was a rub. The 
the other wide receiver stepped in front of uh, the other cornerback. Gilmore wasn't supposed to be on the edge at that on that one. It don't look like it looked like the other guy was supposed to because he went to go that way, and the wide receiver stepped in front of him, you know, and kind of you know blocked him off with a pick basically. And then it was Gilmore that ended up having to react and, and run up. So I like it's it, okay. Sierra Lee, Sierra Lee says now we just gotta go and match it, and you know, and, and and intercessor says it's okay, Colts, let's get that back. And that's the thing. Let's treat this second half like it's zero zero. Okay, now you're down seven nothing. So now you gotta go out here and get the points back. You know what I mean? Just get it back and treat would, it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I feel you. <clears throat> but this is this is a this is a good game. Uh, well, it's not actually a good game, but they're 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 getting they're moving the football now, and that's that's the thing. The Colts are winning the line of scrimmage, though. Yeah, but let's remember, guys. Let's remember the Colts gave that to them because Dio on that stop is basically putting them in a position where they're going to have to pump that ball outside of him, you know, doing the taunting and stuff. So we got to play smart. We cannot sit there and give these guys any room to sit there and think that they got life in this. And and, and to your point, you know, they move the ball after that. They move the ball really good. So now now offense, get out there. Defense, get, in that, get back on the sideline. Clean this up. Let's make sure everybody's on track with, hey, let's play smart football. And let's finish this thing off like we started. Yeah, here's the thing is, like, right now, the Colts are w- winning the trenches by <laughs> far, by far, yeah, defensively sure. and offensively. Mm-hmm. Uh, offensively, they're they're pushing the line. They're creating time for Matt Ryan to throw the football, um, you know, all that. And defensively, they're getting penetration in the backfield, stopping the runs, and getting pressure on um, the quarterback, Kirk Cousins. And here comes the kick. Is it going to be a legit kick? Looks like it is. He's going to take this eight yard. He's going to return it eight yards deep. Flowers cuts up 20, 25, 30. <laughs> 25. I love that. 40 this- yards, 41 yards. Dallas Flowers with another 41 yard. Hell, that was 50 yards because he took it eight yards <laughs> deep in the back of the end zone. Yeah, I seen him taking it. I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then he just hey, kept so- going and going. I'm like, keep it going. Hey, so- I'm yelling, don't return that. And apparently, we yeah. just don't let him do whatever he wants to do. <laughs> Absolutely. And I said this in preseason, right? When we, we watched training camp and yes. stuff, that, base, that that Flowers looked good as a returner. Under center, takes a snap. There's a handoff. That's Moss. And he just blasts right up the middle for a good 11, 12 yards and a first down. Crosses the 50. And the Indianapolis Colts for the umpteenth time is on the other side of the 50-yard line now. You know what I love seeing on that is that, that was a play off, uh, off between the right guard and the right tackle. But the, you see who he ended up running up the back of Quentin Nelson because Quentin Nelson was eight yards down the field, yeah. engaged on the second second level, and he still got there quickly. That's Outstanding cool. blocking, Lions playing very very good. Moali Cox in motion under center is the quarterback. Single setback is Moss again. Looks like the Vikings are going to send blitz. They do picked it up well. Very nice well. Nice class and kick Ooh. to Ashton Doolin right there. Zach did Moss that, picked up the blitzer perfectly. Did that get tipped at the line of scrimmage? It, uh, like- it, lo- it sure as hell looked like it. Yeah. It still ended up being where it needed to go. It did. Nope. Nope, nope it sure did. Nope. Okay. That was a perfect pass, too. Great that job. was beautiful. It, it went right through dude's hands, though. And shout uh, out that, to Moss. Shout out to yeah. Moss for great pass protection there. Give him time. Something I don't say often, Colts in I formation. Looks like a safety blitz is coming. And the Colts are just pushing the line. He's not going to go very far. He picks <laughs> up two. But this offensive line ain't giving up. They're out there playing like bulldozers. They are they are playing like mean men right now. And think about it. You know, we're sitting there talking about that Flowers return. That now your offense is getting the ball midfield now multiple times. You know, what I mean that, that just makes their job so much easier. So much easier. No kidding. The Colts have 116 yards rushing and 132 yards passing. Look, a T four. Oh well, it was T. 
Handoff, Moss. It's no longer a T formation. He's not going to go. He's going to fall forward for a yard, yard and a half. If have they handed that off to Paris Campbell on that tweet? Oh my God! I didn't see anyone there. <laughs> I mean, I saw no one out there on the edge. Colts got ten minutes more on time possession. Twenty three, yeah. twenty three forty to or twenty three fifty to thirteen fifty. Outstanding. Yeah, absolutely. Come on, guys, get this first down. Kelly or Ryan and and shotgun. Running back to the left, split receivers, takes the snap. Third down and seven. It's a dump off wide receiver screen, and he gets cremated at the line of scrimmage. I, Michael Pittman's thinking he wasn't down. Looked like that was set up fairly decently. It's just like Michael hesitated to go in and pick up his blockers because you see Braden Smith, and they're, they're getting out there, and he just sort of – uh, Braden Smith. Yeah, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, if Michael Pittman Jr. is more what aggressive a, about getting to those blockers, that thing's going on. Going did on you there. see Kylan Granson just mm -hmm. mowing his guy down? Oh, this is a long ass field goal. Right hash mark. Kick is up, down the middle, long enough. Good, fifty-two, thirty-six to seven. The Colts. I feel more comfortable now. I Chase feel more McCall. comfortable. Now. Chase McLaughlin, not, five for five. I don't know who you give a game ball to at this point. Dallas Flowers is playing outstanding. The defensive line is playing outstanding. The offensive line is playing outstanding. The kicker is playing outstanding. Who do you give a football to? Me? And I know this seems like a cop-out, but I give it to Jeff Saturday. Okay? Because let's be honest. Saturday has got these guys in here playing. I mean, how hard of it, how hard did it have to be to bring this team in and get them motivated for this game? Which I understand the locker room's not that way, but the fact that he's got these guys balling is outstanding. Most points the Colts have scored all year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And there's what is there? Like nine minutes left in the third quarter. Third. I mean, this is just outstanding. Yeah, yes, yeah, uh, the whole team and, the and whole that's damn why, team. yeah, and that's why I sit there and say give that thing to Jeff Saturday or you know or 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 the I mean, or the coordinators, right? Yeah. Uh, well, we don't have an offensive coordinator, but game ball for everybody. We're <laughs> yeah. Jim, Jim Ursay is buying it for everybody <laughs> <laughs> because there has not been any one phase that has. I mean, like you said, that last series, they, they moved the ball decently. But you expect that from this Minnesota team. You know, to sit there and think that you're going to shut them out, that's just <clears> – but now I want, I do want to come back and sit there and start bringing that center pressure again and let's just really make Kirk Cousins – you know, now now he's feeling a little better about himself. Now You know, now he's got some – let's zip – let's nip that in the bud. Let's make him feel real miserable now. Let's give him back – okay, that was all you get for this game. Rest up for next week. God bless it. Come on, guys. Because what? The defense has scored one. Special teams has scored a touchdown. I don't want to see another fourth quarter, though. Oh, you're just going to leave? No, I'm, I'm saying have given up leads in the fourth quarter have played like shit in the fourth quarter all damn year long yeah. <laughs> yeah. so don't rest on your laurels go out there play your ass off does Chase McLaughlin get oh. extended yes <laughs> <laughs> resigned whatever you want to call it yeah mm -hmm. but uh... All right, here comes the kickoff. He's going to return that. No, he's not. He's going to let it go out the back of the end zone. Colts only have 250 yards of total offense, but they got 36 points on the damn board. That is weird to say. Well, well but like we were talking about, you, you you look at the turnover on downs, you got two of those, which put the offense in great field position. And then you turn around and you, you talk about the two special team returns that put them in great field position. Hey, they don't need to get 350, 400 yards whenever they're only playing the the good half of the field. So Adam Thielen, I don't think has touched the football all night. Not a single time. 
under center single setback handoff oh. to the running back massive damn hole and cook just runs downfield to the 45 yard line tackled by uh rodney mcleod but he's up talking to somebody rodney's rodney's saying something to somebody about something he's mad about something all right guys that's it 73 yards that's all he gets I said the guy to watch in this game, I didn't think was going to be Jefferson or Thielen. It was going to be that man right there. Did I not? Yep. And but he's having not. a good game so far. Thielen they're in not. motion, fakes the handoff, steps back, dumps it Get to there. Cook on the running Get back there. screen. And he, he he does a good job cutting in and out. Flowers with the tackle after a pickup of 12. I feel like this defense is sort of getting in that conservative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's get some energy. Let's finish this. I would much rather watch this defense just ball out in the third quarter and be able to rest them in the fourth. Come on. Under center, single setback. That's another fake handoff. He's going to dump it up. Nope. He's wide open. They are playing soft zone to Jefferson right there for 15, 16 yards on the reception. They're playing soft zone. I mean, I understand it. I just hate it. I absolutely hate it. Dang it. Send a zip. Send the blitz right here. Send a blitz. I would blitz right now. We haven't blitzed, I don't think, the whole damn game. I thought that I can remember. Oh, yes, we did because remember, yeah. we were like Blackman's coming in from the edge. Yeah, that's right. Four man rush. Deep. Mm. And Great the coverage, closest. Rodney. Great the closest coverage, Rodney. To that. Well, that, was, that was deep to TJ Hawkins and the only. The only guy that had position on the ball was my boy, Rodney McLeod. All right. 313 on, left in the third. Indianapolis up 36 to 7. Second down and 10 at the 26 yard line for Kirk Cousins, who is under center. Nope, shotgun running back to the right. Uh, bunch formation to the right, takes the snap. It's going to be a wide receiver screen. And he's going to get to the edge and bust about 15 tackles. I'll get that shit out of here, dude. You're down 29 points. Flex. Yeah, he just picked up 16 yards, though, at least on that wide receiver screen. I get it, but you know what? You want to sit there and act like he a just hot dog ran over Flowers and Thomas. Yeah. But you want a hot dog and do me a favor and at least be competitive first. Mm hmm. Under center, right wing formation, eye formation, takes a snap. That's going to be a toss pitch to Cook, who gets ran out of bounds at about the four-yard line. It'll be second down and about four yep. at the five. They can technically get a first down before a touchdown. I hate this. I absolutely hate this. Come on. Coaches need to give their guys the opportunity to succeed. Now they're playing so soft and everything. Come on. Big formation. Fakes the handoff. Rolls out. Throws over the middle. Blasted. Good nice play shot, right Bobby. there by Bobby O'Karake to Let's stop him from getting to the end zone. I think it's a first down, though. Real close if it's not. I think I just saw. I think I just saw the referee do this. That last right there, line. yeah, oh. yeah. I think he got it. First well, and goal. At least now they can't play soft. They're on the one yard line. No, no. Come on, guys. Gilmore coming out side under center. Weird ass formation. That's a handoff up the gut, and he made it. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. Is yeah, that's a touchdown. Yeah, that's a touchdown. There's a flag on the play. Now what? Unsportsmanlike conduct. Live game reactors live uh, in Indiana. <laughs> Mm 
I mean, they got him stopped here and then just right there. I think he's in. Yeah, yeah. He's crossed that. He crossed the white line on the second yeah. effort. What's the flag? I uh, They're flagging us for unsportsmanlike conduct, you and me. Oh, well, I ain't seen nothing yet. I'm going to get my money's worth. The best. <laughs> well, they're talking to the cold side, so that's mm -hmm. good. After the wow. play was over, personal foul defense. So that means they're going to be kicking it from way back. Oh, no, back. personal foul on the offense right there. Yeah. Yeah. McNeil pushing. Yep, yeah. that that where he came in and shoved after they called the the play dead. All so right. we'll probably get uh on the kickoff rather than the extra point. At least I would. That's fifteen oh, yards. Yeah. Absolutely. Let flowers. Can you give flowers an extra fifteen yards when he's averaging fifty <laughs> yards a return? You know. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's getting tight now. This game is getting tight. I really want them to finish this thing off like they're playing we're for everything. We're still up two plus or three plus scores. So yeah, that's I good. I, yeah, I, can, <sighs> I just, I, this is more of making a statement to, you know, I mean, if you're going to win the game, just win this thing like it's not even ever was a thought. Guys, I'll tell you right now, shout out to B-Ball, man. He's he's helping keep the chat clean for us and keeping us with the stream and everything. Really appreciate what he does. So if you guys are in there and in, in the uh, Discord and stuff, let him know, will you? Just give him a big thank you. He really Absolutely. helps us sing roll for us. Absolutely. If it wasn't for him, it, it makes our jobs a lot easier so we don't have to run the stream itself plus react to it because that, you know, a lot of problems in that situation doing it. I've done it. It's just not fun to do it because there's so much you have to deal with. I am not going to disagree with speed here. A 10 minute touchdown drive. That'd be mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> yep. And that's the thing. I just want to keep just putting this thing to bed, man. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you do it. Just keep it going. If Flowers has another 40-plus kickoff return, you give him the game ball. <laughs> and the thing is, is I'm pretty sure he's not going to be catching this thing eight yards deep in the end zone this time either. So he's got a head start. <laughs> Man. Now, this is a very good game uh, if you're a Colts fan. Well, I don't know, mixed emotions for some Colts fans. To me, anytime I see a Colts winning, that's a good good thing, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it is. I don't, I don't care if we have zero wins and losing the 17th game of the year takes us out of the number one pick of the draft. I'd rather see us win just because. I don't want to experience that. So I'll just leave it at that because <laughs> I, I don't like. To we almost that. <laughs> seen that happen once. We yeah. almost seen that happen uh, in 2012. He's talking to you, Orlowski. He's talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> in the 2011 season. Yes, yep. sir. Orlowski came in and. Yep. But I still wanted to see a win. Kicking from the 20. Yep. Yeah, he's returning that shit. Oh, that was a hell of a kick all the way to the six. And he's at the 25, the 30. Okay. That was a good coverage that time. He only got to the 33. Yeah, because he picked it up from the six. So I mean it's still good. <laughs> I don't think that's a good a good return good good coverage that time. Yep. All right, let's go. Maddie, get us in the end zone, my guy. Dallas didn't want to have too good of a return. That way we could chew up more of the clock and stuff with our offense. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. I don't think that any of the quarterbacks in this draft was a top five pick in, in, in a draft anyhow. So I'm in a different situation. Under center, single setback. That looks like Dion from here. 
tight formation. Woods in motion, hand off to the running back. He's going right up the gut. Okay, we've and got they're to going to push it. They're going to get two yards on the run. It's going to be second down and eight upcoming. We've got to mix this play calling up a little bit, man. we got to get some first downs. We can't just sit there and just go. Run it up the down. gut because it's it, – yeah. I understand the play call on first down. If you break it, good. If you don't, at this point, this is where you do play action. Yeah. See, I honestly, I'd rather hit the edge on these first downs because that's where we've been getting our good drive starters. Three receivers to the right, running back, uh, single set back. Under center is the uh, Matt Ryan. Takes a snap. Steph doesn't even fake the handoff. He's going to get sacked. All right. He threw it at the feet. It got to the line of scrimmage. Third down and seven. Daniel Hunter in his face. Let's see. We'll see the play here. Was Moss trying to... Oh, why didn't he throw it? Look at Paris Campbell was... Oh, wide open. Oh, my God. Paris Campbell was so wide open downfield. If he'd have thrown it towards the sideline, man, that's a first down plus a bunch. Just get me the first here. Come on. Three receivers to the right. Running back to his left. Shotgun is Matt Ryan. Takes a snap. Steps back. Looks, looks. Oh, he's kind of lobbing it downfield. What was that all about? There was no way. He looked like he just threw the ball away. Unless that was again miscommunication between him and the rookie. I think there was miscommunication right there. Well, okay. Why that's more than five yards downfield. I didn't really say, come on, man. Peterson that's more than five. Like, yeah, that's let me wrap, wrap around him, get in front of him. I mean, you're allowed to position on the field, but come on, man. That's that was defensive holding, ladies and gentlemen. Damn it! Finish this thing better than this. You can't, you can't, you can't grab and stop a receiver that far downfield. All right. After the punt, the Vikings have the football again. We need to get some pressure here because they're in really good field goal or really good field position. Under center, single setback, off set eye, takes a snap, fakes the handoff. Get there. Pressure. Get there. And yes. there's another sack. Thank you. And that's Ofeti. Ofeti gets himself a sack in this game to end the third quarter. I knew he was beat because that was he was being held. Yeah, all the way around that edge. I'm surprised he even got there. But let's be honest, the Colts lost that third quarter real badly, fourteen to three, and that's not what I want to see. I mean, I get it. You you know, you give up another fourteen to three quarter, you win the game. But tag on it. Give this Colts Nation what they deserve, man. We've, we've struggled through this season. Let's have a game where we can just sit there and be ecstatic about it. Absolute domination game. If you're going to win, win big. I I don't know. Um, just They're keep calling playing. this a showdown. Who's that, Speed? Who's calling this a showdown? Uh, I... He missed Paris Campbell. I'm telling you, that one play, Paris Campbell yeah. ran an out slant. It looked like an out and up he was running. And on the out, there wasn't a guy within 10 yards of him, and he was 10 yards downfield, still heading towards the sideline, wide open. But – the thing is, guys, remember how we started this year off? Remember how poorly the offensive line was playing? Not today. These no. guys, I mean, even rookie, even Ryman, I mean, early on he gave up that one sack. But he, I mean, and he's get, he's getting pushed back a little bit. But he's also against Hunter, who is, mm -hmm. you know, a really solid DN. So Hunter's got. 
two sacks uh, with that now, sack, I think. That's two uh, for Hunter, isn't it? No, Matt's only given up. Matt's only been sacked once today. There's been pressures, but he's already got the ball out of his hand and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the Colts have five sacks to their one. Okay. Man. But, yeah, like I said, the, this offensive line has really played much, much better. So now we just got to, you know. The Vikings are now getting some offensive yards. They have 214 yards offense. They're, I mean, if they score on this drive, they'll have more offensive yards than the Colts. Yeah. But there again, the Colts have been playing on a short field, so I don't mind that as much. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. I want to sit there and stop them here. Zero points on this drive, guys. You've got the ball at the 31 yard line of Minnesota. Don't even let them get to the 50. All right. Second down and 17. This is where the Colts need to just pin their ears back. Watch the screen. Shotgun running back to the left. Split receivers. Takes the snap. Looks. Throws over the middle. Oh, That's Julian. Justin Jefferson. And Julian. he gets the first down. And there's a flag for a late hit. Helmet leading with the helmet. Julian Blackman took a terrible angle with that. Oh, my goodness. Personal foul. Mm -hmm. I knew that's what was happening. I didn't see who made the made the hit. Well, it was Rodney Thomas. He's been getting... Now, why is that a foul? I don't see a foul here. His helmet never even touched him. Never even touched him. He lowers and turns to where his shoulder. He turns his head back and God. leaves with his shoulder. That's a bad call. That's a terrible call, guys. Under center. Throws over the middle. Shot rocket ball. Oh, my goodness. Jefferson, that was hands right there. I can't believe he held on to that football. Hey, you guys keep flexing. Go ahead. You're only down by three scores. It's fine. This was a hell of a catch right here by Jefferson because Thomas li lights him up, and but he, he needs to wrap him up. Yeah, he, he didn't put his up. arms around him. He just threw uh -uh. his shoulder in. Yeah. Careful, Empty backfield. Careful, though. That'll get you another 15 yards for him. I know. Three receivers to the right. Takes a snap. Steps up. Looks. Throws right over the middle. That's, again, uh, that's about six yards on the catch. Zaire's to right Osborne. There. Second Zaire's, down and four. Good coverage by Zaire, though. You know, once he made the catch, that was it. He wasn't going any further. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. They're 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 throwing the ball quicker now. They're not they're not letting Kirk Cousins hold on to the football in the backfield so much. And it's a handoff to the running back, and he's going to get go. tackled for a one yard gain. But that's Okereke. Third down and three upcoming. Linebackers are doing as they have most of the year and having a really good game. Bobby and Zaire. Oh, Cook is hurt. Cook is limping all over the place on the sideline. That's, that's, that's not good news. I think the only other guy they got is Alexander Madison, don't they? Um, Do they still have Alexander Madison? I don't know. Empty backfield. Cousins throws over the – that's a touchdown, Jefferson. What, what are you doing, man? Uh, I think Jefferson faked inside and made Gilmore take a step in. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I think that was just a hell of a play by, by Jefferson here. Let's look. Yep. See that? That was that was a hell of a play by Jefferson. But still, Gilmore's got to be able to keep that position. You, I mean, I know you're wanting to jump the route, but you still can't That's, just let it be a mm -hmm. pitch and catch that easy. Damn it. And that was a hell of a route right there by Jefferson. Well, hell, Jeff, hell of a route lost, running. You just lost your game ball, Jeff. So now you're going to have to figure out who, who gets it. <laughs> That's if they win. Because, I mean, hey, I, guys. Uh, they just, yeah. Uh, it's 36-21. Keep trying right. to hit. 
yeah, I'm hitting banner and it keeps taking my comments away. Like I'm hitting the comment thing. I'm like, I get there. We're still up 15 points. Yeah. Like I said, this is me being a selfish fan. I just really wanted to have have a just a a, a boat race. <laughs> I wanted this to just be absolute nastiness the whole game. Yep. Hey, what's up, Fulton? Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you making it in. Everybody that's in here, thanks so much for watching the stream. Uh, this again, you know, second half, the Colts seem to take a dump defensively and offensively every freaking week come out firing in all cylinders 33 to nothing at halftime and next thing you know it's 36 to 21 got to jump start that offense now you got to get them firing and, and get in there and get a touchdown get me one more touchdown you know with a 15 point lead puts it to 22 then i then i i'm more comfortable but right now this is, I mean, it's just been too easy. You know what I mean? And the thing is, is you, you pull the pull the restraints on this defense and then it's hard to get them going again in the right direction. So. I think the Colts play less conservative in the on their drive or upcoming. I think they're going to take a couple shots here. I hope so. Like I said, we got to get somebody to jumpstart this thing. Either another, another score by the Colts or a turnover by the, the defense. Oh, sorry. Obviously, another score by the offense for the Colts or a turnover by the defense is really all we need to put this thing to bed. But right now, we just got to quit this soft, passive defense. And like you said, get a little more aggressive on the offense. I get it. You want to chew up some clock, but guys who love zone defense do this. That's what they do. And uh, you get a lead, you generally want your front four to get pressure. and let your secondary do what they do. I mean, and the crazy thing is, is you think about it, one field goal, that makes it a three possession game again. So even just get offense, get down there. I'd want it in the end zone, but at least give me three, at least make it an 18 point lead again. Yep. I'll breathe a lot easier if it's, if it's a uh, 22 point lead, but. <laughs> There's the kickoff. He's going to take it. All Four yards. Yourself. He's going to get stopped at the 17. Wow. He tried to split. Had he been able to split that, he was gone. I think uh, it looked like there was plenty of room right there. But all right, come on, offense. Hey, I've never seen a fan base be so happy about being down two they, scores. They, that's how they soon, that's how believe, soon. yeah, I, as they should. I mean. Because like I said, Minnesota is just they play one one score games all year long. So yep. Under center, Except single setback. And it's Get gonna there. be a reverse. Get Michael Pettman Jr. has Thank the edge. You. And he leapfrogs, picks up 13 yards and a first. Like time. I said, get to the edge, and, and that's where you've been getting your, your most production. Thank you, Parks Frazier. Thank you. Damn. Good ball. Good play. We're using our speed, which is nice. Wow. 16 seconds before you even get all your teammates on the field. That's weird. Come on, guys. Clean it up. Hey, they have more yards than we do. Minnesota does. Mm -hmm. Left wing formation, single setback, big formation. Hands off. Dion's <laughs> got room to run. He picks up about five. There you on go. On the carry, second down and go. five upcoming. And once again, we're getting out to the edge. We're right off of Ryman there. Mm -hmm. That's deep. where, yeah, that's just where we've been producing on a steady, on a steady. So just keep that. Mm -hmm. Chew the clock up this way. You don't even have to throw the ball. You don't have to worry about Matt Ryan getting banged up. Just keep making, you know, working the edge and then give him a couple body blows just to keep him off balance. All right. Come on. Keep it moving, Maddie. I formation. Takes a snap. Takes the handoff. Got He's him. going for it all. Got him. Oh. oh, he threw it. Why did he throw it to him? Because I think Doolin was open downfield. Yeah. He should have threw it deeper. I think he should have pump faked and launched it. 
I think he should have pump faked and launched it. Because I think the pump fake would have froze the freaking safety and then Doolin would have been open, wide open. I know this sounds stupid, but this is a big third down. Come no, on. no, no, it is. I agree. Come on, guys. You know, all, all the momentum's with the Vikings. We got to get this first down here. Five seconds left on the play clock. Empty backfield. Three receivers to the right. Takes a snap. Looks. Quick pass. It is a wide receiver screen that they sniffed out in a heartbeat. Lost a yard on the play. It's fourth down and six upcoming. Why is I 100% agree with this statement right here? Why is it always Pittman? Guys are open downfield. There's other guys that are open, but Pittman is supposed to be the number one receiver. We got to use the we got to use the other guys. Only problem with that trade was he actually played good during that. It was yeah. more of the, the teammates the that defense, fell short. The yeah. defense that fell short on that one. Here comes the punt at the 25, and he breaks a tackle, breaks another. We got, we got a flag on the play. He's past the 40, the 40, 35, 30, all the way down to the 28-yard line. Tony Brown went for the arm tackle. Tell me this that. is a holding call. Tell me this is a freaking holding call. Holding, blocking the back, something, please. It was during the return, so... Yeah. Face mask on the defense. Okay. Huh. That's not a normal one for the receiving team. <laughs> nope. Okay. I'll take it. Whatever. Yeah. Look at these guys. They didn't even have a clue. What? Wow. You mean they called a foul against our team? No way. <laughs> oh, on Doolin. Yep. On the return, that's 15 yards. Wow. From the spot of the foul, it's 15 yep. yards. So they yep. still, in, you know, it's not terrible field position, I don't believe. Oh, it is. Good Lord. That knocked him all the way back to the 13-yard line. Under center, takes a snap, rolls out. He's under pressure immediately. He throws it deep. Wow. That was that was a dangerous throw. I love how Zaire, he got aggressive on that. He dro yeah, kept dropping he back and stayed under there real Isaiah well. Rogers is limping a little bit. That's, why, that's, that's not a good thing. We can't have that, yeah. Second and 10 upcoming. Come on, defense. Give me a three and out. Please give me a three and out right here. All right, shotgun, empty backfield. Here comes the four-man pressure. They're playing so freaking soft, it's not funny. Guess who's back on the field? That's Dalvin Cook. That's a first down, by the way, about 13 yards. Ten minutes left to go in the third they're playing, quarter. They're playing 10, 15 yards off the line of scrimmage, the se yeah. secondary is. Yeah, I mean, you, you, the second level is literally 12 yards behind. Look, look, look at this. This is nuts. And, and the first fourth steps are backwards. Oh, they're they're looking to go deep, deep. Good play right there by Blackman on Hawkinson to knock that ball away. It'll be second and ten upcoming. Blackman broke on that immediately. Oh, it was even blocked. Yeah. Had it not been blocked, I think Blackman might have actually freaking intercepted <laughs> it. Grover Stewart got a hand on that ball. Now he's nice. off on the sideline. Nice job, Grove. <laughs> Do you, my guy. Second Third. down and 10, single setback, quarterback under center at the 26-yard line. They need to get to the 36. That's a pitch again. <sighs> get him. Dalvin, and all right, nice all right, job all right. right there by Zaire Franklin, pushing him out at the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Third down Diet. and 10 upcoming. Dio got that play to bounce back out, and then you I forget who it was that came in. I think it was Blackman, maybe. And then, like you said, Zaire, just, they, they just kept stringing that thing out. Gain of a half a yard. Yep. Oh, gain Clock of two. Clock is still ticking. Clock is still ticking. 
You know, they gave him two. It looked like he went out at the line of scrimmage, but oh well. Speed, Speed says, we're playing like we're hoping for a Hail Mary, or they're expecting a Hail Mary. Empty backfield, shotgun. Colts got, sent, got pressure on him, but they still got the first down. God. Isaiah Rogers got burnt on the inside route. They picked up about 10 by Osborne. Another first down. Come on, I don't want to be clock watching this game. Damn it. Under center, single setback. Takes a snap. Hands the football off. Good stop, finally. That's Coward again, I think. Nope, that's Quiddy Pay. Quiddy Pay getting in there first. It's going to pick up about three, I think. It'll be second and seven. At the 40 for Minnesota. So, come on, guys. Time to really start. Defense Frank. probably tired as shit. They've been on the field a lot this second half. Shotgun takes a snap, steps back, looks, throws over the side. Whoa, he got blasted by Gilmore, and he now they're going to call that a personal foul on Gilmore. I don't see how that's a personal foul. It looked like he hit him in the chest, but I'm waiting to see before I. He hit him in the damn chest. Where do you want these guys to hit him? No helmet contact, no shoulder contact. Everything was right here. Are you serious? That's, I think That's they're the calling it a defenseless receiver. Are they calling that a defenseless receiver? Because that looked like a clean, he's going in an attempt to be evaluated. Yep, that's an ejection for Gilmore. But isn't that his second personal foul? No, what was his first one? Oh, no, that was Rodney Thomas earlier. Yeah. Sorry. But you think about it, both of those have been clean hits. So what, is, is Gilmore just supposed to go, okay, let me wait for him, wait for him, and then touch him with two hands and call it a day? Bunch of cowards. I'm sorry, cowards is not the word, but the other ones that I was thinking. Rolling out to the right. He's going to take a shot for everything. Intercepted! Thank you! Thank you to put these bums to bed! At the two-yard line by Rodney Thomas. He was going deep and overthrew his target by a mile, and Rodney Thomas was there to get the ball. Two personal fouls, however, intercessor, and it's an ejection. But uh, I, I, uh, I thought I remember now that that was on Rodney Thomas earlier, not Gilmore. But that, I, I, I fully agree. Both of the personal fouls that I've seen so far were not personal fouls at all. At all. And by the way, guys. For you Colts fan, or for you Vikings fan in here, I apologize. Man. I just get so sick and tired of this ridiculous, ridiculous officiating along with this passive defense and then sit there and Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Rodney Thomas. Yes. Wow. That's exactly right, Joe. That's that's yes. We got about seven minutes left in the game. The ball don't lie. That that's kind of what that was today, wasn't it? Let me look exactly. Eight minutes and two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, just we've got to move this ball because we're going to be what inside the five, somewhere around the two or three, right? A two, two yard line. I do not run the football here. I run play action right here, a quick pass to the outside or to a tight end. That's what I do. <laughs> well, let's just sit there. They they should switch this to flag football because <laughs> they will expect running the football up the gut at the two yard line. Do not yeah. run the ball up the no. run play action. 
with a very quick release to one of our tight ends. Either, I don't care which. We got three of them. Have them all bunched up together like we're running the football in big formation. And then have them, have one of them slip out. Man. I mean, you think about it. Ever since that Dio Dangbo tackle early in the third quarter for a loss and then the personal foul, it's just been terrible afterwards. I don't want to see the ball go to Pittman again because obviously the Vikings see it every freaking time. Unless it's a jet sweep. But don't want a jet sweep here. Fuck no. No. Sorry, I dropped the F-bomb, but, you know. <laughs> They're playing spread formation. Shotgun. Running back to the right, standing four yards deep in his own end zone. And he's going to go for the, all the monies. Guess who? Michael Pittman, freaking junior. <laughs> Why is he our number one wide receiver? Because he's the only one that gets targeted. <laughs> oh, wow. He just gave up on the route. All right, come on. I, I I I like the play call. I don't like who it went to. <laughs> Hand off to the running back. Gain of six inches. Again, like I knew, don't run the football here because they're going to expect it. They're going to run the ball again and punt it and give it to them in an amazing field position. I'm going to be so pissed. Seven minutes, 30 seconds. Come on, Coles. Don't take this pleasure away from us. Get us a first down. We're only up 15. Shotgun running back to the right. Split receivers. Jelani is awfully close to being offsides. He dumped the football off. At least he was able because he was almost sacked for uh, safety. Colts will be punting from the backside of their own end zone. I need uh, to walk away for a second. I'll be right back. All right. About yeah, guys, this is uh fourth and eight, seven minutes and 13 seconds left. Like Lamar said, we're getting ready to punt the ball away. Need, need Hawk to get one of those big old boomstick type of pumps for us here. Punts away. Fair catch at the 50-yard line. All right, so the Indianapolis Colts will now be at the midfield trying to stop with seven minutes and six seconds left. This is this is exactly what I know a lot of us were talking about. We didn't want to see for a second half. We wanted to keep the gas on the ball. Unfortunately, once again, for the break. Gosh darn it. All right, come on, defense, help us out. Cousins in shotgun, running back to the right. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Drops back, got all the time in the world. Down the middle, wide open. Hits Thielen for his first catch of the day. Rodney McLeod with the tackle, but it's well after the first down for a gain of about 16, 17 yards. Keep ticking quicker, quicker clock. Tick faster, tick faster. Okay, you got two wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Running back to the right. Drops back. Quick pass, release to 17. Poor tackling, still gets another first down. Stopped by Zaire Franklin for another gain of 16. Two plays, two first downs. Now you've already got Minnesota in field goal range. Not that that really matters with this deficit. but What happened? Two first downs. First one was a 16-yard receiving reception. The second one was a 15-yarder. Shotgun through receivers to the right. Takes a snap, looks, throws towards the end zone. Broken up by, and we're going to get pass interference. There is an official, there is an official literally freaking three yards with the play right directly in front of him that doesn't see anything. All of a sudden, a flag comes from 80 yards off to the sideline. Yep. We're going to lose this game. 
No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm not there. Come on. I don't see pass interference there either. No, because now... And if, if you're trying to say that he had that arm wrapped around him or something, the official that was right next to the play would have seen that, not the guy freaking way out there. Yeah. Eye Come formation, on, hands the Come football on, off. Stop it. He's not getting Stop. to the end zone. They stop him at the one. Second goal. Come on, guys. It's just how the Colts have played all year. All damn year. They fall apart in the second half. The thing is, is we find things that are working for us and then we just abandon it for no apparent damn reason. Throws over the middle. Yeah, nope. That's Great play, incomplete. Isaiah. Great play, Isaiah. Pushed him out before his feet hit the ground in the back of Absolutely. the end zone. Third and goal at the one. So there's five minutes, 34 seconds left. Third and goal. Man, every snap is just, look at this. Great play. I'm not even sure if he'd got them both down anyhow, but just to make sure, I love that. Yeah, he would have. But that was still a hell of a play by Rodgers right there. Under center, single setback, big formation. Takes a snap, takes the handoff, looks, throws wide open, back of the end zone, touchdown. Adam Thielen, first touch Adam Thielen's had all night. No, second. The first catch in the drive was Thielen. Yep. So, yeah. They go for two here. They'll go for two here. Damn. They got to go for two here. Well. As good as the first half was, the second half has been equally as bad. They're going to go for the extra point. Okay. I would have went for two. And they get the extra point. And just like that, it's an eight-point game. Well, who had this game going over 60? <laughs> oh, I sure as heck didn't. <laughs> or no, I the was game, all over that. If the Vikings win, the game has to go over 70. The Vikings aren't winning this. Colts are going to put this thing to bed right here. Right here, they're going to put it to bed in favor of the Colts. Let me be specific. <laughs> Get me 40 points, Colts. We're getting Get shit 40 calls points. by the refs this yeah, entire second half. I agree to that, but the thing is, is, for me, it really, like I said, after that Dio Dangbo call, it's like this defense has just said, nah, no worries, and I'm just sick of it. Because you can't ever rely on this Colts offense to consistently every time we make a with tack- something. But but we've given up like both personal fouls were not Garbage. personal fouls. No, I agree. I agree. But like I said, like I said, I, it's compounded by this soft defense and just lackluster offensive play calling. That I mean, we've been running on the edge. Every time we've got the ball to the edge, it's been for six yards or more all day long. All day long. And and what, we've had one play in the second half, one or two plays in the second half on the edge, and the rest has just been, you know, errant passes to Michael Pittman Jr. or trying to force it up the gut with Zach Moss. I, I just, come on, guys. Pretend like it's the first Quarter, first play of the game. Whatever it takes, get this thing going. There's a run play. He's going to pick up five. Second five at the 30. Five minutes. and Moss Moss and, and Jackson have both been running very hard this game. Very much so. Very much so. We haven't seen, remember, uh, Jelani Woods had that one fantastic play. I don't even know that he's been targeted since. I don't think they've even tried to get him the ball. So many things that were working, and now nothing's working. Come on! Five minutes left in the game. Second down and five. Shotgun running back to the left. Hands the football off. He's 
plowing forward picks up two. TJ Joe with another super chat. And how do the Colts just have 135 yards passing? Because he's been throwing to the same guy over and over. Hmm. When other people are wide the hell open and he's still throwing it to Michael Pittman Jr. And they're all over Michael Pittman Jr. Come on, guys. Shotgun, empty backfield, third down and three. Got to get to the 35-yard line. Here comes a blitz. Matt dumps it off, first down. By Thank Gabe, you, Paris. Who? Thank you, Paris. Paris freaking Campbell with a first down. That was huge. Paris freaking Campbell with a first down catch. Honestly, if we could get two more first downs, I think we could put this thing to bed, but we got to get them. We run the ball here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But still, I, I, I mean, like I said, you know, let's get it to the edge. Let's run it on the edge, man. I just I cannot <coughs> get over how successful we've been all, all day at that. At the 38-yard line, under, under center, single setback. Takes a snap. That's a handoff. Another run. Like I said, he's going to strip return for a touchdown. Isn't that a penalty when you take your helmet off? Yep. And it's a it's a fumble return for a touchdown. It's a fumble. Are you freaking kidding me? There's a flag. I think uh, Sullivan got hit with a flag. They still haven't put the points on the board, so I'm thinking they're calling them down or something. Help us out there, guys, if you know what they're saying. I'm sportsman like I know that, but they can't kill the play dead. Unless they unless they said it was down by contact or something. He wasn't down by he wasn't down by contact. No, I mean I mean somebody if they're saying somebody else had possession of the ball, like I said, I, yeah. Because he never he he never left his feet to pick it up and Unless I blew the, you know, inadvertently blew the play dead or something. I don't know. That is not possible. Right there, he, that right there is the unsportsmanlike conduct. Well, to be honest with you, I'd rather our defense on the field right now, anyhow. Wow. Wow. A lot of people still like Jeff Saturday as the head coach. I don't know. We still got a lot of, uh, we still got three games to see. So we'll see. Thanks for the $2, TJ. I'll keep it up actually for a minute. You've had a couple of them on here. I appreciate your donations. Thank you so much. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. This is ridiculous. Jeez. 
shotgun, running back to the left, takes a snap, throws over the side. That's Jefferson. He's going to pick up seven and uh, gets out of bounds. Three minutes, 21 seconds. Minnesota has all three of their timeouts. Yeah, no, clock's not even an issue for them right now. Not even an issue. And unfortunately, neither is the Colts defense. Empty backfield, three receivers to his left. Shotgun. Not even showing blitz. Throws it down the sideline. Oh, what a pass Ooh. break up by Rodney McLeod. I seen that ball go in the air, and I was like, oh, he is I wide thought McLeod open. picked that off for a second. Wow. Like I said, I seen that ball in the air. I was like, he's wide open, and then Rodney's just like, no, you ain't. Whap. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you, Very Rodney McLeod. Thank you, Rodney McLeod. That dude has been doing that for us all year. All year. All year, all year Rodney McLeod's looked good. All right, shotgun, running back to the right, split receivers stacked on the left side. Takes a snap, looks. He's going to throw it down the sideline. That's a first down. Jefferson gets out of bounds after a pickup of about seven more. Three minutes, 12 seconds, and a first down. If this goes into overtime, I'm going to have to make a head call. Mm. Should have took my halftime break, but I didn't. It's <laughs> okay. No nice. pain. No pain. <laughs> Shotgun running back to the right, or right. Three receivers to the left. Takes a snap. Colts blitzing. They pick it up pretty good, but it goes out of bounds. Okay. Second and 10 upcoming. Right. Go pee. Go pee. I can't right now. Are you kidding me? I don't want to miss a play. <laughs> but I will tell you, if you start seeing this look on my face, <laughs> just don't ask. <laughs> All right. Come on, guys. Defense has been freaking robbed by the refs this whole game. Shotgun, running back to the right. Three receivers to the left. Again, at the 40. Takes a snap. Steps back. Blitz coming up. He's going to throw it down the sideline. It's out of bounds wow. again. That's what pressure does. Third and 10. Come on, guys. Two more times. Two more times. One more time. Just make it a pick six. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, third down and 10 upcoming. Please, guys, don't put any kind of spoilers in the chat. Shotgun, split receivers, running back to the left. Takes a snap. Steps another blitz. Throws it downfield, and this time Gilmore. Great, 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 great. Where's the where's great, the personal great. foul? Where's the personal foul? He hit him a hell of a lot harder than he did when he got the personal foul. Oh, I don't know. He hit him pretty hard on that one, but it was I know what you're saying. <laughs> Good play right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good timing. Good job. Come on. One more time, guys. Come on. No spoilers, ladies and gentlemen. I, I got a feeling. I'm not I'm even looking. Get a... I'm not even All looking. All right. Three receivers to the left, running back to the right. All sides. Fall dead because of the false start. False start, yeah. I keep calling it all sides. Good job. All right, guys, now play your soft defense. <laughs> Not too 20. soft. No, they need 20, so you, you can give up the first 10. Just, just make no, the damn tackle. Paul starts only five yards. Mm, that's right. That's not a holding call. Yeah. Fourth down and 15. Let Come on, Quiddy Pay. I want Quiddy Pay to get a sack here. No kidding. He's the only one that has it today. Come on. I don't care who does it. I don't care who I, I want quit because Quiddy's the only one that hasn't gotten one that's a starter on the defensive line. All right, shotgun running back to the right, three receivers to the left. Now it's empty backfield as as he motions out. We Colt send a blitz and he's hit and yes! he dropped. Good job, Dio. Good job, Dio. Yeah.
gets the guy, and that's the game. Unless the Colts turn uh, the ball over again. Yeah, I would love to. Give me a first down. Give me past the two-minute warning with a first and ten. Use up a timeout or two because they've still got all three of their timeouts. Wow. Defoe has just been, as, as he has been all year, Defoe has just been a menace today, a menace in that center of that D-line. Colts have the football now in decent field position. They're about mid, little, almost to midfield, about 44-yard line, I think. Yep. Minnesota still has timeouts, so all of them. Under center, offset eye formation, that's a toss sweep. To the and edge, Moss, thank you. To the he's edge. Got, he's got 10 plus. Oh, he, did he give it up? Are they oh, going to keep they the clock? He, no, they, they nope. did this. They said he got, his feet went out of bounds. But I, he was thinking, though. He was playing smart. Yeah, he tried. And like I'll I said, he tried. I, and I'm all day, all day long, get the ball on the edge. Good things happen. Mm -hmm. Just don't even give the damn ball up the gun anymore. <laughs> Our receivers are good blockers, man. So use them. Shit. Use our good blocking receivers and tight ends because Kylan Granson can block. Uh, okay, in motion is Jelani, takes a snap, that's a handoff to the running back, right up the gut, gets nothing. Did you see that stat? 150, 157 yards rushing for the Colts, only 82 for the Vikings. We've almost doubled them up. Yeah, but they've got like 6,000 yards passing to our 140. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I mean, to sit there and, and – <clears throat> All right, let's see. Second down and nine. Long-ass nine yards, I'll guarantee that. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Guys, smash that like button if you haven't done it yet. Please. Appreciate I them, you. I need them to score just so I can <laughs> take off for a minute. Do you score. run the ball or do you throw a, a quick short pass? No, I run to the edge. Like I said, it, it's, they haven't stopped it yet while I go away from it. Yeah, that's true. Under center, single setback. Vikings showing blitz off the left side. They hand the football off. Moss has got a little bit of squirming room. He picks up about three. It'll be second down and okay. Four it takes us to the two minute six. warning. I'll be back in just okay. A no, Sorry, it doesn't yeah. take us to the two minute warning. But go go pee. They called a timeout. You're fine. Well, Colts need this. They went and called a timeout, didn't they? Yes, they did. <laughs> Gotta start them. <laughs> Go pee. It's third down and seven. <laughs> third down and seven. The Colts need to get a first down here. Because the Minnesota has one timeout remaining and two two and a half minutes left plus the two minute warning. They need they get a first down here. Game's over. Shotgun running back to the right. Granson in motion, split receivers, takes a snap. That's a handoff to Moss, and he's going to get – oh, he dives oh, did forward. he get it first? Did he? Oh, no. they got about a half yard short. They got him a half yard short. Oh, do you quarterback sneak it? Yep. <laughs> I, I call it right now. I run my offense up there and say, QB sneak the shit. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's short, barely. I could be sneak the hell out of this right now. I love the effort. I love the effort. Like you said, these guys have been playing super, super hard. They called timeout. Fourth yep. down and one for the Colts. First, first down basically puts this thing to bed. Jeff Saturday's trying. He's thinking that's his decision to go for it or not. Mm. So, yeah. Honestly, this is where you QB sneak it. Fuck it. You know, just do it. Get it over with. I got pressure. Oh, God. Under center is quarterback. There's a lot of people up front. Three, two, one, timeout. They tried to get him to jump off sides. <laughs> They're killing me. <laughs> They're killing me, too. I got pain right here in my, oh, my goodness. I got I got serious pain in my gut. Uh, like 
right around my diaphragm. This would be a. Uh, never I know. I've been. I. I have not had soda all week. This would be a very long field goal. A very long field goal. I want to say that would be close to sixty, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. Mid fifties. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. All right. Under center, man in motion is Paris Campbell. It is a quarterback sneak, and he's got that. He's got that. Yep. That's a first down. That's a first down. That's a first down. That's a first down. They're wherever they mark it. Right there, the ball's already over the line. And then it definitely is there. Yep. And then and he there. falls way past the line. Yeah, that's definitely a first down. That's game. Where are you spotting this, guys? I mean, he crossed the entire line. No, that's right? First down. On the second push, if they give us a shit, uh, a, a, a shit spot, I challenge I it. I throw a flag. Yeah, I challenge it. We're still a past the two minute mark, so can't count on them to get it right. They did give us a shit spot. No flag. All right. Challenge. All right. That's All right. bullshit. That's a terrible spot. That's where he ended up. Can you not throw a flag on that? Yeah, you got to challenge it, don't you? Can't you spot? Can't you flag spot of the ball? Yes. There it is. There Thank it is. you. First All right. Good. I'll sake. be back. All right. He that him and the ball completely crossed the 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 yellow the, the white line, completely crossed it. Right here, he doesn't get it. Right there, he's past the line. And here, he's way past the line. They gave him a really bad spot. And they didn't call the play dead. Uh, no one heard a whistle, did they? He had, even Saturday is like, dude. No. No, that's terrible. Even they are saying that it's short. Even the announcers are saying it's short. That is the biggest bullshit I have ever seen in my life. That is the biggest bullshit call. These refs are so bad. So bad. Oh my God.
Minnesota has no timeouts and has to go to length of the field. It's a screen to Cook, and he's, oh my goodness, he's gone, touchdown. All the way, touchdown. Are you kidding me? He took that running back screen, 55 yards for a touchdown. That was what, awful. What they called that? It stood, and then they uh, uh, they they called it short. They said that the place of the ball stood, and then they ran a a, a running back screen, and Dalvin Cook took it fifty five yards for a touchdown. The Colts got zero calls this game. Two point conversion. If it doesn't happen, there'll be a flag on the Colts defense. I'll guarantee it. Throws over the middle. He's caught. It's a tie ball game. We gave up 33 points in the fourth quarter of the Dallas Cowboys game. And then we just gave up a 33-point lead in the second half to the Minnesota Vikings two weeks later. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And all the calls, the, the calls, that's the, the screenplay, the calls of, of unnecessary roughness and unsport and all that is these refs are awful awful you know I sit there and said and I know this game ain't over but I sat there and said I'm going to root for the Colts to win but if they won't if they lose it won't hurt as much I apologize once again I lied to you guys this just freaking and the thing is is it's not one officiate you know it's not oh there was one bad call I can make think of four immediately on the top of my head that were just massive game changers. And all of them were in the second freaking half. Go. Well, at least he made it to the 25. I mean, how in the heck did they even get a tie with what with we haven't even got to the two minute warning yet? This is the worst thing I have seen. This is the worst officiating I've seen in maybe ever. Maybe ever. Three receivers to the left, running back to the right, shotgun at the 25-yard line, takes a snap, looks, and he's blitzed and sacked at the 15-yard line. It's a loss of 10. After two-minute warning. We're going to give the goal ball back to the Vikings. They're going to kick a field goal and win this game in regulation. I'm going to get rid of. I'm. 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 I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. Com- I'm not even going to look at comments right now. Um. It is what it is. This is some huge BS right now. Huge BS. I've not seen such terrible officiating. And because a lot of these scores that the Vikings have, the Colts had them dead to rights. The defense had them dead to rights. And then, you know, a call was, you know, Stephon Gilmore on a, on, on a hit, which was not a, that, that shouldn't have never been called. No. And the then only one, the, the, the only call one that, on Rodney Thomas was not a good call either. Like I said, the only one that I felt like was a legitimate call that, that, that continued to drive and allowed them. I mean, it's not like this was just for one score. 
every one of these calls have been drive sustaining penalties. Mm -hmm. But the one that against Dial, I mean, look, the dude walked at him. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, I, yeah, I that him. that that was a legit call. I I can't can't disagree with that. But this is just absolute ludicrous. This is the worst. But even then, even then, the Colts offense has not looked good this game. We've ran the ball efficient, but we haven't passed the ball worth a damn because we're always throwing it to Michael Pittman Jr. when there's other guys wide the hell open. No, like I say, you, you look at whenever he 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 targeted Jelani Woods one time, massive play. Oh no, let's don't go back to that one. We've been running great. I mean, honestly, I would have just kept putting. And I know you guys are probably getting tired of me hear, hearing me say it, but I would have just kept feeding it, putting it to the edge, putting it to the edge. They haven't stopped us yet. No edge runs. The Colts have 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 averaged five yards or more per edge run. No matter what, whether it's a. a a jet sweep, a reverse, a pitch, anything like that. We've ran the ball well off the edges. Come on, guys. Get me a dag on first down. Let's just start with the first down. We got all our timeouts. There's plenty of time. We just need you to produce. Come on, Matty Ice. Second down and 20, basically. Takes a snap, steps. He's going to throw. That's caught. By Jelani Woods, two yards shy. Or that's what I meant. Kylan Granson, two yards shy of a first down. Third down and two upcoming. Was that third first down or was that for the uh, original? That was, a yellow, that was a yellow mark, not know, a red I mark. Know, I know. <laughs> so we got, oh, third they're calling five. it third and five. It looked like it was two, but okay. Either way, that's much better than third and 17. Or more. Give me the first down, guys. I'd almost run the ball on a... I'd almost give the ball to Paris Campbell on jet sweep. Right here. Right here. I think that'd be a... Per that'd catch them so off guard. I think. They're not going to do it. Come on, guys. But I would... I would... Come on, guys. Shotgun. Yes. Three receivers to the left, running back to the right. Need to get to the 35-yard line. Quick pass over the middle, and short. he's short. God dang it. Short a yard, Michael Pittman Jr. I'll tell you what. Matt Ryan throws that ball in front of him where it needs to be right there. That's a first down. Instead, he has to watch this. He has to reach behind himself, which. Oh, way behind. I mean, Way he, behind. He leads them. They're going for it. Let's go. Now they're not. That's Ryan. a false start. Now you got to punt it. Come on, Ryman. God bless. <sighs> Shoot yourself in the foot a little bit. Why don't you? Can't go for it now. You can't even go for it. Let's go, Matt Hawk. Give me a Matt Hawk bomber. <sighs> Definitely need a bomb. I'll tell you what, Ryman's really good for that. He's really good to get over amped up whenever it's real close right comments. here. Oh, I, I'm watching them. All right. So if, if someone posts something, then let me no. know. Yeah, I will. They're all, but you know, this is pathetic from Josh to have you. Here's a punt. Short oh. punt. That's going to go to the 26 yard line. This is just, I mean, I'm watching this like this just cannot be real. High freaking ball game. And now I'm begging for an overtime. But this defense has shown that they've been getting gassed this whole second half. I mean. 
What is guys, going I, on here? Guys, thanks everybody for being in here. Now, I said at halftime, I was like, I'm not comfortable yet. I need another touchdown. Why well, we haven't never got that touchdown. Three receivers to the right, two to the left, empty backfield, takes a snap, four man rush. Buckner should be getting a holding call. And we're going to get, okay, there's Rodney McLeod and TJ Hawkinson, I guess, got tangled up. Second down and 10 upcoming. Yep, feet got tangled up. Looked like he almost did like a baseball slide into his feet. It's like, I'm not going to get there, so I'll just take you out and see if they call it on you. Rodney's done a good job on Hawkinson tonight. Yeah. Shotgun, running back to the left, three receivers to the right. Second down and 10. They got to call that. The center was so rocking back in his. He gets blasted. Hawkinson gets the ball. It's going to be third down and two. 50 seconds left in the game in regulation. Even Kirk Cousin knew it was supposed to be a call. He's, he's doing one of these. <laughs> Come on, defense. Shotgun. 40 seconds. Takes the snap. Looks. Oh. Pressure. Yes. Sack. Good job, Dio. Way to clean up. Man, he has been a freaking. He's cleaned up those plays all day long. That's like his third or fourth tackle like that. And that's another one you can credit to Yannick Ngakwe because he did this uh, stunt inside. Watch. He cuts inside and forces him yep. to step up and out. Yep. D- Dio has been the cleanup machine. Yep. Come on, guys. Fourth down. Let's just. <laughs> Fourth and one. Oh, they, they're not calling it a sack. They're calling it a one-yard gain. So are they just going to punt it and go to overtime? It looks that way. 22 seconds. Come on. Let's get a punt return for a touchdown. <laughs> just oh, there's a, there's a timeout, I guess. Oh, they wouldn't go for it on fourth and one at the, would they? Not at that, not because that's, that's in field goal range for the Colts. That's, that's at the 30. Yeah. Oh, you don't, okay, okay. you don't go for it there. No, if you don't get it, you lose the game. <laughs> I thought they were at the 45. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Here comes the punt. 20 seconds on the clock. They're just letting it go out. And he stops it at the one inch line. Crap. We can't even freaking just ne- kneel, kneel the it. thing. Oh my can't God. kneel it. You have to run the football. You know, you quarterback sneak this sucker. That was a hell of a punt. That was a hell of a special teams punt by the Vikings. You quarterback sneak this forward. And then let it go to overtime. At this point, you have to. You have to. Oh, they put that to two. You can go ahead and knee it. Okay. Do you fake knee and then launch a ball? No, 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 no. no. (laughs) I'm just throwing it out there. (laughs) Yeah, so is Matt Ryan. That's the problem. (laughs) (laughs) No, he need that sucker. Wow. 72 point game. And we still can't win the dang thing. <laughs> Ay, Chihuahua. It was 33 to nothing at halftime. Then it was 36 to 7. This is terrible. Yeah. I mean, we, we've literally, <coughs> you know, I remember saying, I just wanted to keep our foot on the gas pedal. You know what I mean? This Vikings. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <sighs> you know, the thing is, this is, this is the Colts. See, even whenever we do something good, we can't enjoy it because of this crap. You know what I mean? The Colts have 311 total yards offense. The Minnesota Vikings now 
424. They have 350 yards since half. That's a 350-yard half that they had on offense. And almost every damn yard of it was passing. Because I think they only had, what, 20 yards passing at, uh, at halftime? Yeah. This is, well, Cousins putting his helmet on. Looks like the Vikings have the ball. Yeah, yeah, they won the toss. You know what would be nice? A win. One of them Gilmore ceiling plays. Oh, pick six, you mean? <laughs> All right. Yeah, because I don't trust our offense to do it. Nope. I think the offense does it if maybe we put someone different at quarterback in that's not going to sit there and target Michael Pittman Jr. every five seconds. <laughs> I hate saying it, but it's, you know. And Matt has, for the most part, has had time in the pocket. Yeah, no, like I said, this is not on the offensive line. You know, mm -hmm. early in the season – Midway of the season, I would get, you know, but these last two or three weeks, Matt Ryan has been playing like garbage. And then whenever, and the thing is, is whenever things start working on our favor, we just leave it. We go away from, oh, we're being aggressive on defense. No, let's go and prevent. Oh, we're running the ball on the edge. No, let's just keep hammering it up the gut. It's like, why? Why are we doing this? This is just. Did Chip Arce get get on the phone with with uh, with, <laughs> with the sideline and say, "What are you doing winning this game?" <laughs> something, something. Good gravy, man! This is just. I don't have a problem with the play calls, for the most part. Oh. For the most part, I don't have a problem with the play calls. I have a problem with the execution of the quarterback, because uh, we we ran some stretch plays, you know, more than I think any other game that we've played. The problem is where's the ball going when we're throwing the football? Cause we're running the ball pretty decent, you know, fairly decent. We're running the football. For me, my biggest thing is, is we were crushing it in the first half, just hitting the edges, hitting the edges in the second half. We have done it like 18% of what we were doing in the first half. And it's just like, why would you change that? That was the most successful thing you were doing the whole game. And then and then the defensive play calling. Why is Gus Bradley going so passive? Dude, you're a freaking four-win team. Now. No, you're a four-win team. What are you afraid of? You know what I mean? He's going to return it three yards deep. There you and go. he's going to be tackled DJ at Speed. the 16. Yep, 17. They'll probably spot it at 17. But, yeah, probably. EJ Speed did real good there. Well, this is huge, D. Pressure think... on the quarterback has been key this entire game. Whenever Kirk Cousins is under pressure, he's looked like ass. When he's had time to throw, he's looked like a godsend. So, got to get pressure. That cameraman knows exactly. He's like, these guys got to make this game winning. Oh, my goodness. Grover Stewart got in the backfield. He pushed his guy back three yards. Still Cook picked up two, so it'll be second yeah. down and eight. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on. Sorry, I'm taking the comments off again because people are dropping freaking stuff. I've asked you guys not to. I, I'd hate to have to start timing people out. Second down and eight. Shotgun running back to the left. Takes a snap. Three-step drop. Blasted him. And are we right. going to get a roughing the passer call? What? Because... Yep. He got blasted as he let go. 
told you. I mean, he got blasted by Buckner. Yeah, he led with the helmet. That's okay. that's 15 yards every time. Yeah. I I agree with the call yeah. on that one. That's a, that's that's the downside to being a giant. <laughs> you know what I mean? So gosh, once again. First and ten at the 33 yard line, offset eye formation. Takes the handoff, looks, has all day in the pocket. Cook looking to cut back inside, does, picks up about six on the run. O'Kare K with the tackle. It'll be second down and four upcoming. We have squandered our best offensive output or our best scoring output. I don't want to say offense. Our best scoring output of the season with this. Yep. Second and four at the 33 yard line. Bunch formation to the right, running back to the right, takes a snap. It's going to be a wide receiver screen, and he's going to get the first down and gets out of bounds. Pick up about six. And he's hurt. He looks like he's cramping. He looks like he's grabbing his. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what it is because it's around his knees. Mike D says, I want another tie. I'm not sure why you want that. I mean, honestly, if we tie another game, we're done. Yeah, we can't. It's a cramp. Yes. He's he's taking drinks. Man. So yeah, it's a cramp. He has to be out at least one play. That's yeah. Osborne's had a hell of a game. Hell of a game. Well, I mean, might as well. Hell, it's flag football the second half. Seems seven that on way. seven on. Whoever feels like showing up, I can't say seven on seven. And if you hit somebody, you're guaranteed to get a personal foul. Yeah. You know First, what? They need they need to start finding these officials like they find players. That's what they need to start doing. Guarantee you they'll clean that shit up then. I agree. Hit them for 25 or or hit them for fifteen to twenty five thousand each, and I know they don't make as much. Good, good. At the fifty yard line, first and ten, takes the ball, snap, throws out to Hawkinson, off to the side. He gets blasted by Isaiah Rogers after a pickup about six. We got to start playing tight coverage. Listen, guys, we got 185 of you in here. If you haven't already, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe subscribe if you're not subscribed and ring that notification bell. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. <clears throat> Second down and three upcoming at the 48-yard line. Get Under center, here. single setback, left wing formation, man in motion is Jefferson. That's a yeah. handoff to Cook. He's got room, and he's got the first down. Picks up four. Crosses the 40-yard line. They're in field goal range. Long-ass field goal range, but still field goal range. All right. That, <clears throat> means, that means we need a sack then. A sack, force them to throw it, and then intercept it. Come on. Single setback, quarterback under center. Two tight end formation, takes a snap, takes the handoff. Okay, Get him, he gets Quiddy, in there and Quiddy. he's sacked. Quiddy finally got himself a sack. Yes! Quiddy finally has a sack. Quiddy's going to walk off. Is he walking off the field? No. Quiddy, Qu Quiddy grabbed the ankles and tripped him up, and that's a sack for Quiddy Pay. Second down and 14 upcoming. Do it again, guys. Come on. Do it again. Get these guys out of field goal range. Make them punt the damn thing. Come on. Shotgun running back to the left. Three receivers to the 
uh, left, takes a snap, steps back, has time, throws, batted pass. Yes! Good job right there. I think that was Defoe again. Yeah, yep. They're down yes, 14 sir. upcoming. You can see these guys are getting gassed. We can we have to get off the field here. Absolutely. Yep, Evo <clears throat> jumped up, knocked that bad boy down. Great job. Great job. I mean, seriously, look how much you would have to be able to get a ball over that man. That's just, I know, right? That's that's a cheat code in its own. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, defense. Third Finish down, 14. Off. Finish it off right Shotgun, here. Shotgun, empty on. backfield. Three receivers to the left. Takes a snap. Colt sending a blitz. Holding. They got to call holding. He, he, he gets back to the 40. Okay, yeah, Dio got, got, on. Dio got just freaking tackled. I was but just do like, you, but do you accept a holding call here? Yes, you know, I take fourth him out down of, and it's fourth I, down and nine. I take them out of field goal range right now. You know, you 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 take that call, they still can kick a long field goal. Unless, let's see, and I like how they've got Bubba sort of. Yep, they're asking Bubba. Holding on the offense. They are. Okay. They did accept it. Okay. That'll yeah, be watch. third down and 19 now. Dio just gets tackled here. <laughs> well, Ofedi got held. Huh? Or, or, or Odangbo. That's why I said Dio, yeah. 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 Yeah, I saw that earlier, too. Christian Darisol is on the ground. Wow, that could be huge, too, for this play. Yep. He's been struggling too. He just came back in this his yeah. first game back. Yeah. Wow. Third and twenty-four. But do you have faith in, in your offense, even if the defense makes the stat the, the, the stop? Well, no, I mean, <laughs> to, say, to say I have faith, I mean, you heard from my prediction pre before the game, my faith is waning, but, you know, I, I still, you know, I mean, yeah, I'd love a pick six here, but at least get, get the ball back. And then it depends on the play calling. Darisol getting looked at. Third down and 24. Play smart, guys. Play smart. That man catches the ball. That yeah. just should not happen. That just should not Looks happen. Looks like a four-man rush. Oh, Buckner yeah. getting in his face. It's a short pass. Yeah. And he gets back, back to back the 40. The... Still going to be a long field goal. 58 yards. Well, he's walking up like. They're going to go for it? He was walking up like it at least. Surely they ain't going to go for it. That's a 58-yard attempt, though. That's a long field goal. Are they punting? They're punting. Do not go offsides, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever you do, they are punting the ball. I will tell you, you've had multiple people asking you to kick out the spoilers. And fair catch at the 12. All right. Any more spoilers during this game? I'm going to have the, the, the comments on. If I see a spoiler in here, you'll be muted for five minutes. And we don't want to do this, guys. So don't let's just want to? Please. No, absolutely not. We, we enjoy the interaction. This channel's definitely... Yes. You know, <laughs> we do more Colts lives a, than we do records. <laughs> Colts need a field goal to win the game. They're at the 13-yard line. Under center, single setback. Takes a snap, hand off to the running back. He's going to plow forward for about four. Okay. Second down and three right here. Four minutes and 40 seconds left. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Can Matt Ryan pull a game-winning drive out of his butthole? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Second down and five. Shotgun running back to his left. 
Pittman in motion. Takes a snap, takes the handoff. He looks, throws, caught. Yes, Michael good Pittman job, Michael. Jr. Actually caught it, and and the guy covering him is down. Yeah, now I'm pretty Patrick sure that's Peterson. Patrick Peterson. Yeah, Peterson's out. Michael, oh Newstop. no, he's not. He's getting up. Is he Michael. shaking his head like, no, I'm not hurt. I was just faking it. <laughs> that's what it was. That nice. was a hell of. Yeah, nice that was a good play. Yeah. That was a good pass right there. And it got tipped a little bit, and Michael Pittman Jr. did a real good job of focusing and bringing that bad boy in. Yeah, if you guys are trying to figure out where we're at as far as the spoilers, it's uh, first and ten at the four, four minutes minute. left. Yep. Four minutes left. Come on, guys. Shotgun running back to the left. Paris Campbell in motion. Takes a snap, steps back, looks, looks, steps up. Let it rip! Let snap. it rip! He fumbled it. Oh, he, that's a forward pass. That's going to be incomplete. Okay. No sack. Second down and 10 upcoming. That's a forward pass that's incomplete. He tried to shuffle pass it. Clock's still moving. Oh, no, that's a fumble. <laughs> that's a fumble that he pushed forward. <laughs> that's a fumble. That's but you can't advance a fumble. But that's a fumble. Now it was recovered by Pierce. It, it, if that's a fumble, I, it, yeah, then, it, 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 then it that's three it. yards. Yeah, that's three yards. Uh, it'll be second and seven. If, I, if if they look at this and say that's a fumble, yeah, either we get the three yards or they give us all the time back. That was oh. actually a smart move by Ryan by pushing that ball forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it looks like somebody comes up underneath. They ripped the ball out. Yeah. They ripped that ball out, and then he shoved it forward towards his receiver. He looked that, was like, actually, oh, <laughs> that was he looked actually That was actually a hell of a play. By Matt Ryan. Get off of him. <laughs> Sitting there leaning on him. That's okay. That's okay. Just keep drilling them in the ground. But don't land on them with all your weight. God forbid we do that. We'll right. have to sit there and... Did they give him the three yards? Yeah, uh, They gave one. him a yard. Okay. <laughs> Second down and nine. Shotgun. Moss to the right. Come on, Matty. Takes a snap. Looks, they send a blitz. That's a pitch and miss. Again, towards Michael Pittman Jr. You got to. I understand that Peterson's out. No, Peterson came back in. Did he? Yeah. It's third down and nine upcoming. That was a good play by the defensive back. Yes, sir. But we got to quit throwing at the Pittman. Fake it to Pittman. Or let Pittman do a double move. These guys are keying and jumping his yeah. route. So, I mean, just exactly split receiver, shotgun, running back to the left, takes a snap, another blitz coming. Matt throws it, dumps it. Nice, nice play by nice Pittman. Stretch. stretch for the first down. Man, the that is a first down. The official still really hosed him on the spot. Yeah, but he called it at first down. So that's they, all that all matters. Right, all right, all right. Because I mean, does his knee touch? Because if his knee does. Nope. That yeah, was perfect. See? That was beautiful. So he yeah, lost he, about a yard, but that's he lost fine. a yard on the spot. All right. Hand off to the running back. Moss gets tripped up right there in the backfield. He goes right back to the line of scrimmage. No further. Harrison Phillips with a big play right there. I mean, he's a big dude. So that's the first time I've called Harrison Phillips' name tonight. We're going to go to uh, the two minute warning. Wow. This could be interesting. I don't know. Have you guys smashed that like button? <laughs> Have you subscribed to the channel? Because trust me, you're not going to want to miss out on 
the uh, Believe in Colts with Rodney McLeod and Gerard Powers this week because we are going to have a conversation. I am going to have a nice, long conversation with Rodney McLeod. I think McLeod's played his ass off this game. But, oh, my. <laughs> I'm going to ask him. First thing I'm going to do when I see him, I'm going to be like, so uh, how do you hit somebody without getting a, a, a personal foul called? I, I'm just curious. In, in, yeah. in the NFL. I, I want to know Rodney's how that's like, done. Right. He's like, I don't know, but I can't answer that one because my pocketbook don't need to be hit that hard. Right. <laughs> I'm just curious how, how it's done in the NFL today. <laughs> Empty, backfield. Empty backfield. Second down and nine at the 44. Need to get to the 53-yard line. Takes that. That's a wide receiver screen, and that's to Michael Pittman Jr. again for a loss of one. Third four down wide receiver screens. All four of them to Michael Pittman Jr. Three of them were for losses. Quit it. Damn it. Quit calling the play. Every pass play has been to Michael Pittman Jr. this drive. Every damn one of them. Come on, guys. At this point, if I was Saturday, I'd take Michael Pittman Jr. and sit him down on the ground. <laughs> Why? He draws so much attention. <laughs> I know, but... Matt Ryan still shotgun, takes a snap. Here comes the blitz. He's a free runner. He gets rid of the football. Got rid of it. They sent an overload blitz. I thought that was picked. That thing had so much air under it, it looked like a Pat McAfee punt. Good God. I understand he's throwing it away, but do me a favor. And make I don't think your... he was throwing. I think he was throwing it out to the spot for uh, Paris. Paris. And if he could, he if he was able to get some ump under it, I think he would have made the uh, a good ball. But he couldn't because he got hit when he threw. High punt. Doolin stops it at the thirteen yard line or eighteen yard line. Sorry. Minute forty one. One timeout left for Minnesota. One minute and 41 seconds. Are we looking at next year's draft after this? Or this coming draft after this? No. Are we still looking I, at the playoffs? No, I'm I, saying after this game. After Oh, I, I'm not looking at draft until after the season's over. Like, legitimately over. Like, 17 games have played. Playoffs have played. Someone won the Super Bowl. You don't even know who's all in the draft until – seven days after the NCAA national championship. So, yeah. All right. Takes a snap, handoff, cook. He's uh, grabbed, tackled, nice gain of four or five. Quiddy pay with the tackle. Come on, defense. Man, give me a pick six. Give me some points from the defense. I don't want to tie. Shotgun running back to the left, takes a snap, steps back, looks, has time, throws, first down, broke two tackles, broke two damn tackles. Osborne broke two tackles. One minute, one timeout left. And one of them was Zaire Franklin, which is something you never seen. Shotgun, three receivers to the left or False right. Start. False start, come on. That left guard has such a head start. Come on. All the way to the 40. Adam Thielen again. 35 seconds left in the game. Left side of that O-line. I'm not sure if it was the guard or the tackle. 30 seconds left in the game. At the 40. Shotgun. Takes a snap. Quick pass. That's too low. Incomplete pass. 19 seconds left in the game at the 40-yard line. Second down and 10 upcoming. <clears throat> yeah, they hit the ground. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Daniel Miller. Every one of the Colts wide receivers need to have Pittman on the back of their jerseys so they get a chance. Jeez. <laughs> Another offensive lineman goes out for the Vikings. Limping off the field. Randall says, take a big draw for me, man, <laughs> on that cigarette. <laughs> All right. Come on. His longest is 56 yards. Right now it would be a 40 or a 58 yarder. At the 40, they need to get to the 30 for a first down. 20 seconds left. Shotgun running back to the left. Takes a snap. Steps back. It's a wide receiver screen, and there they got lots and lots and lots of room. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, flag. Game's over. They're going to make this field goal. I think they're going to call Wasis face for um, – Delay of game. Dude, if they do, I'm going to flip the heck out because they've been doing that shit all year long. How many times have we complained about that? That's what I'm watching for. I mean, how many times has Michael Pittman Jr. basically been tackled and retackled? Delay game, I told you. God! Why don't you, you just go and score the fucking points for him? This has happened all year long against Right them. there. That's. It does. It's, they do the same shit to Michael Pittman Jr. constantly. Never once have we gotten a single flag for that. Yes, I still think this defense is really good. But, I mean, this is a damn good offense, too. So. 40-yard attempt for the game. Saturday call timeout. Yeah. This is unbelievable. This is an unbelievable game how this turned out. We were I was worried that if we didn't score another touchdown – we With 33, 33 points. points. We scored 33 points in the halfway through the second quarter. And then we can't turn around and find a way to put more than three points on in a complete overtime and uh, second half. Kick is up. And that's the game. And that's the game. Congratulations, Minnesota fans. What a comeback. Coming back 33, down 33 in the first half. The Indianapolis Colts did not get any kind of help with uh, calls. So they didn't help themselves either because they did some stupid stuff. But the personal fouls, I think, were garbage. I can't believe this. This is... Stupid. This is ridiculous. I can't handle this. This is, I don't know what's this game. This is bad. This is really bad. It It's almost like it was halftime. And then the halftime speech from Jeff Saturday was guys, we can't win this game. J Jim Mercy just called me and said, we can't win this game. We, we, we have to let the Vikings win because our draft is, is so important. I'm getting paid a million dollars to, 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 you know, I mean, I, I know that didn't happen. I know that did not happen. Okay. I'm just saying it's, it's like it did happen. 
and everybody, I see everybody dumping on Matt saying he costs. Guys, how can you blame this all on one guy? I mean, I get it. He's the quarterback. I'm not saying that he played great, but he, <laughs> how can you not sit there and acknowledge the fact that, you know, your defense gave up a gazillion yards in the second half and still want to blame Matt Ryan? All I'm saying is, is if we're going to blame people, let's keep this as a very wide spectrum. As great as this team, remember how we were talking, oh, this team's playing great, all three phases and stuff? We stunk it up. I mean, the best phase we had in the second half was our special teams, and it was even less than stellar. I just We gave you know, up 400 yards passing in the second half in overtime. I mean, all of a sudden, our tackling went to crap. You know, uh, I mean, I just, I get it. I'm not, this is not me saying Matt Ryan had a great second half. I'm not saying that at all. You've heard me through the whole game. But the thing is, is to sit there and just lay this at the feet of one guy and act like that's the solution. I mean, I, that's just not going to, it just doesn't sit. Gosh, darn it. Well, I appreciate y'all anyhow. Yeah, um, I do too. I, I don't need to. Sitting here and, 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 and putting up with our, you know, talks. But and I apologize for any swearing and stuff. I'm sure I <laughs> I did because I, I'll, I'll be honest from about the four minute mark on. I've just. He did score a touchdown, actually, Carl. He threw that touchdown. Uh, he threw the touchdown pass to uh, was it Jelani Woods? I think it was. Right. But like I said, even even there, you know, that, that's not what the only cause to this game. You no, know what I mean? No. And, and like not. I said, I'm, this is not me saying Matt Ryan's the savior to this team. No. Matt Ryan's been a massive disappointment this year. Whether whenever the team couldn't block for him or whether whenever the team is You beat him. us with the help of the refs. I, I agree. With with the help of the refs with some really BS calls on both sides. I, I, I'll give it. There was BS calls on both sides. Uh, but how but many of the, them – how many of them were ones that sustained that turned around what was mm-hmm. going to be a punt and continued for a first down and turned into scores? Yeah, I mean, like the calls- both, both the pe- personal foul calls was BS. Mm-hmm. The one the, the 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 personal foul call on on DeForest Buckner, I'll give you that mm-hmm. he shouldn't have hit him high, the, especially the dia- helmet. Yeah, the, the but, dia- dang bow was uh, yeah was a good yeah, call. It was legit. But both the tackles, the one by Stephon Gilmore and the one by Rodney Thomas, were clean hits. Clean hits, and they continued drives that shouldn't have continued. Yeah, but the, it wasn't the officials that gave up four hundred plus yards in the second. No, half. our defense no. dropped the ball. It wasn't our. It wasn't the officials that only allowed our offense to score three points in, in you know, second half and overtime. <laughs> so I, I mean, like I said, I don't. My my biggest problem with Matt Ryan in this game was that he targeted Michael Pittman Jr. a billion and a half times even when he was covered. That's my biggest that's my biggest gripe. There's other receivers out there. Use them. Use them. But guys, thanks so much. We got a string of games tomorrow to watch. Appreciate all of you. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, I'm Lawrence Owen. That's Colts Loyalist. And as usual, (laughs) try to have a good one, guys. Try to have a good one. And happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Just because a guy's a player's not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name. How do you end the last two games the way you ended the last two games? It's un freaking believable.